Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity playthrough and presumably get to the end of the main story. Last time, we just had a entire thing happen. <laughs> Story went places. Hydra Gun, the voice of life, got blasted apart on screen. Very... The closest we've come to on-screen murder. Unless you count the rescue team protagonists getting nuked by the meteor and canonically dying, even if they're just kind of talk around it a little bit. And, yeah, the other brutality of Kyurim smashing the protagonist just all for, all because of he's super nihilistic is like yeah we're gonna let the everything's gonna go big <laughs> twitch chat says miss the last one hope you had fun with the cooler sections of the franchise it was very fun i do wish that there was like i don't know somehow they made like, uh, a way for you to actually play through the infiltration of Muna's base to save l the partner. But I understand why. It's just a cutscene. And, again, very c cool to have, like, the cutscenes be the way that they are. It's super fun. But, yeah. Lots happened. And, uh, chat last time estimated that I should have one last, like, a. Uh, three-ish to four-ish hours, I think, of story left, and then one to two streams of post-game to potentially get through. But let's not waste time. Let us go on. The story so far. Let's go back to Post Town. We'll tell everyone about the danger this world is facing. If we all join together, we can still fight. Holding on to that hope, Neon and company return to paradise. Oh yeah, and last time we also... Like, uh, when told everyone, yeah, the negativity of all your hearts is uh, fueling the bitter cold and it's going to kill everybody. We need to be positive. We're going to fight the bitter cold. And uh, initially, everyone freaked out and ran away. But then a select few came back to paradise to be like, you know what? You're right. And I'm sorry for letting my fear get the best of me. And I actually choked up at that point. Have you encountered a Basculin yet? Actually, I don't think so. I don't think we've done it. At this rate, <laughs> I'm not even sure if Basculin is in this game. Morning, Neon. Today's the day, huh? I'm going to head up the hill first. Umbreon and Espeon may have trusted us with their intercards, but... I still don't feel confident at all in using them without messing up. I think I'm going to go grab a Mulga and practice a bit more. Neon, I'll be counting on you to get everything else ready. See you at the hill, then. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, split us up from our partner. Like, immediately following the fact, like, the section of the game where we were separated from our partner for an extended amount of time. This is the first time that we're walking around alone in paradise without our partner. I just realized a bit of fear is in being inflicted upon me. I'll go train my Vine Whip once. I guess we're gonna go talk to everybody. See if there's any, like, boxes to open up. I'm unsure. We might get to level 7 Vine Whip at the end. Blah. We'll see how emotional things get. I still expect Keldeo to show up, maybe. That feels like a thread that they should throw out there. What do you gotta say? So it'll all disappear, our world. What should I do? I tried thinking about how to spend my last days, but I don't even know where to start. So I've decided I might as well face the end with a smile. Well, at least that's one way to do it. Oof, my apologies, hmm? Things got quite exciting while I was away yesterday, hmm. I was a bit worried hearing that, hmm. But seeing you all today, hmm, it does relieve my mind a bit, yes. We aren't giving up, hmm. Well, if you aren't giving up, then there's no way that I can give up. 
I will always be on your side. Mm hmm. Might as well at least try to do your best. Hmm. Oh, I guess I can't uh, see if you have anything to sell, huh? Then again, I guess the game doesn't want us to be able to, like, uh, manage our party just yet. But let's manage my inventory, I suppose. Uh, da -da -da. Cause we will go in with a four party. So we'll need to... Da -da -da. Train seat, encourage seat, blinker, totter, sleep. I guess we'll bring some vials for some bosses. Because we have two bosses left on the docket. That we need to worry about. Alright, withdraw. Let's see. I guess we'll take... A power band and a special band. Since we'll probably be... Well, then again, then... I think that should work out good. Yeah. Should probably work out. Low on reviver seeds in here, but oh well. Hmm. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Again, the music is so good. And oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, withdraw treasure boxes. Just enough room for the treasure boxes. <laughs> Uh, what do you gotta say, you evil little man? Let's just be honest, this ain't no time for working. The world's gonna end anyway, right? Then we should just do whatever we want, you know? <laughs> Looks at Quags out. <laughs> we should just do whatever we want. Looks at Quagsire. <laughs> Sobs. This game series has stabbed my heart with emotion more times than I can count. Mood. I can't believe it. Even I'm scared. The world ending and all that. And just when I finally got my head on straight, too. Gah! At this rate, I ain't gonna do nothing but dis despair till the end. Fine, I'm just gonna keep on working. Till the moment we all disappear. Well, that's, that's one way to deal with it. What about you, Victini? Hey, what would happen if the world ended? I wanna see it! A brand new world! Oh, but wait, gone. We'd all be gone. That's no good. <laughs> You're a weird little man. Weird little man, Victini. Uh, you can now go to these places, except we can't. Because uh, I'm alone. And we can't even manage your team. Oh, hey, Swana. Everyone is so frightened that they don't dare show their faces in town. What do you... What do they think is going to change if they lock themselves inside their homes? This will be quite a challenge, but we can do it. Together with Herdier and Leveny and the others, we will persuade everybody, one way or another. You be careful, too. Come back safe. So the world is ending, I see. Uh, what should we do? But there's nothing we can do, is there? Even this shop will cease to exist. Then I suppose we'd better make Pokey while we still can. <laughs> That's an amusing way to think of it, my dude. It's like, well, might as well. <laughs> the world is ending? What a disaster! But if that's the case, then today's the day. I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna go talk to her. There's no time to be busting boxes. I've got a day with destiny, and I ain't gonna miss it. And yet he'll still bust my boxes. Which I appreciate. Oh, a protein? Well, that's very handy. Handy, handy for me. Open up all these boxes, my dear boy. And a gold ribbon that will just sell. So I'll be the one to make all the pokey while we still can. And then a max elixir, because can't have enough max elixirs, I guess. Just eternally. I'm gonna have, like, over a hundred max elixirs by the end of this. Another max elixir! I'm never gonna escape them! 
the happy commission is gonna follow me home and be like, you have all the max elixirs in the world. I'm like, I didn't even mean to. Another gold ribbon. I wonder if there's somebody that has like a gold ribbon playthrough. It's like, yeah, we're just gonna wear the gold ribbons all the way through. Because we're affluent. We're rich. We can afford to wear gold around our necks. And some gold bars. It'd be hilarious if we got enough, like, uh, gold bars to get the 1 TM. But then the decision was like, which one should I go for? Energy ball for me or dragon tail for the boy? And another protein! I don't think I've ever gotten vitamins from this before. And now I've already gotten two. And a citrus berry. I don't think I've ever looked at what a citrus berry even does in these games. I don't really focus on the berries that much except orange berry. And another max elixir. Like, I do understand why they do that, because the basic attack is terrible and you only have your moves, so you running out of your moves would be horrible. So they just throw them around like candy in dungeons in the box. Uh, but yeah, since they already do it in the, like, the dungeons and they sell them in the stores, why, why fill them up with the boxes? <laughs> like, I understand, like, the capes and the stuff being in the boxes, because they're kind of rare-ish. But why the max looks? Oh, hey, a reviver seat. I, I don't know how many I've gotten out of boxes. That feels new. Then again, this is like the most boxes I've ever busted. So who knows? And <laughs> all these reunion capes. We're gonna drag everybody here with the power of reunion capes and nobody will be able to stop me. You know, I just realized, shouldn't we, uh, like, contact the Happy Commission to be like, hey, things are going bad, here's what's happening. It's just like with Rescue Team. We've just never talk to anybody from the actual, like, guild association. Everyone will... No, everything will disappear. It is so very sad. According to Kirim, we can't change our fate. Isn't that right? If we cannot change it, then we might as well be happy. I find it amusing that it's just like, even in the face of all this doom, there are people like you who are like, eh, screw it, I'll be happy. make back all the money I paid to open these boxes. I know why it defaults to no, but still. It bothers me because I'm bashing through. Let me just sell my golden capes. Now let's see. What do you have to sell in your little shop? Pluck, thief, incinerate, pluck. Two plucks. Hmm. You know what? Since I have the money, I'll buy a Reviver Seed. <laughs> Wigglytuff Guild is the Happy uh, Organization? No, I can't be because the Happy Organization is, like, on a different continent, for one, I'm fairly certain. As well as, uh, it's very different from, like, anything else due to blah, blah, blah. Primarily, I'm trying to think my words, because like the uh, guild associations like existed before Wigglytuff, and it's just like he's just the manager of a single guild. What do you gotta say, Goldman? Our world might be coming to an end. <laughs> just what I was waiting for. We will all gloriously scatter on the wind. <laughs> You're a crazy man. And... Just wander around. We'll check out Swanas. Doubt there'll be anybody in there, but let's see. It'd be hilarious if everybody was just in Swana's place. Nope, they're all just hiding. Cowards! Well, I guess we'll save and head up and meet 
with Locke and presumably... Oh, no, because he just went up there to practice, I believe. Apparently, it's not going well. Ah, hey, Neon! You ready for this? <laughs> I want to talk to him now. Not yet. That's okay. We're ready to go whenever. Just let us know when you're ready. Locke dragged me up here with him. He says we got to practice summoning the Magna Gate. That seems pretty dangerous and kind of scary, this whole Magna Gate thing. I don't really want to do it. Not for real. Poor guy. Well, let's go. Things are probably going to be pretty rough this time, you know? We should all be extra careful in our prep. You sure you're ready? Of course. All right! Then we're going to summon the Magna Gate! Phew! Thank goodness. Nothing went wrong. Ah, uh, I was way nervous, you guys. I don't ever want to touch another inner card. But we were able to summon a real Magna Gate thanks to you, Amolga. Neon, Verizian, let's go! We're going back! Back to the Great Glacier! Everyone, do your best out there! And come back home safe, okay? Don't worry. You just wait here for us, okay? We've switched places from the last time, huh, <laughs> Dunsparce? This time, I'll be the one going to the Great Glacier. <laughs> That's true. I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir. Count on it. Yeah, a really big one. Go and break that bit of code for all of us. This music playing is awesome. You do your best too, Dunsparce. Convince everyone to believe. I think it'll be a great challenge, but if anyone can do it, it's you, Dunsparce. Yeah, thanks. You be careful too, Verizian. You all have to come back home safely. All right, here we go. The rest is up to you, Dunsparce. Or really, the rest is up to us, because we have to destroy a big monster. Everyone, go up there and win! Well, off we go, presumably on the final adventure. Until the post-game, at least. Huh? Is it just me, or does it seem a bit different around here? Could this be a completely different dungeon? Uh, did we mess up the inner cards after all? If we did, this dungeon might lead someplace totally different. We might never catch the Great Glacier. I don't think we need to worry about that. If the inner cards were really that difficult to use, I'm sure Umbreon and Espeon would have given us more instructions. At a guess, I'd say that all these changes are due to the influence of the Glacier Palace. Either way, we might as well go ahead and check it out. I think we really might make it to the Great Glacier. At any rate, we've got to keep going to find out. But, well, I guess we've got no real choice but to keep going down this path. I've got my worries, but I'll do it. I'm pretty worried, honestly. But we've got to keep moving forward anyway. Let's do it! Let's go! First things first. Power band for Verizian. <laughs> we just have to go through all this. Electro Ball. It becomes more powerful if you are faster than the target. Cuts corners, which could be nice. Hmm. Uh, Thundershock could be pretty nice. Quick Attack is a good ranged option. That's for typing. Hmm. Doesn't seem all that special, really. Plus, it's low damage. We'll forget it. It probably is good if you level it up, but that's way away. Any other moves you want to learn? <laughs> Let's see. Acrobatics. Becomes more powerful if you're not holding an item. Well, he's going to be holding an item, so get out of here. And yet another move. Light screen. 
Uh, nah. Why take less damage when you can deal more damage? And next, Encore. It forces an enemy to keep using only the move it last used, which could be useful, but only if I could, like, specif specify when using it, and I can't do that, so... Bibbidi ba. And of course, level up for Verizium. Alright. Retaliate. Sharply boost your attack if an ally fainted. Well, we don't want that at all. We want to survive. And you only learned that one move. This is some nice music. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to put on the special band for you. How dare. Leap play! And tackle. Very worrying, like, colorization for the dungeon. I know it's a palette swap of, like, the other, like, kind of cave dungeons we've done a few times. But also kind of feels like the influence of the Great Glacier, the Bitter Cold, is in play. And I don't like it. Very worrisome. Scare face all you want. Die. I need to level up my Vine Whip by killing you. Damn it! Well, at least they're together. So really, I'm the one at risk. Ah, never mind. They're going different places. This will team up with you. We'll try to cut them off. Down here, maybe. There we go. I smack him. I cheer you on. Murderize him. Very funky music. Ah, the exit. Let's a go. Hey, Neon. Hello, hello. Indeed, we're on our way to the Great Glacier. The Great Flying Glacier of Doom. Come fight me. I smack you. I smack you again. <laughs> Yet another level up for Verizian. A Giga Drain. Hmm. Let's see. I guess Giga Drain could be more useful than Takedown, really. Potentially. More Vine Whip level up for me. All right, nothing there. Good, good. Again, that sounds like a soda can opening. If anything, that's probably what they recorded to get that sound initially, and then they just tweaked it. Considering we're going into the final dungeon. Ow, bastard. I'm gonna wander around a little bit, try to level up my skills and stuff. Hopefully we get our team attack up before we run into a monster house. It'd be very annoying if we ran into a monster house before that. What the fuck? Because it all happened off screen. Didn't realize that he got rolled out to oblivion just there. 
The upside. <laughs> the horrifying upside. I forget. I think my teammates annihilated a bunch of those w giant Winnie the Chews. I've just never seen one up till now. They all died off screen. Which is kind of amusing. Because they actually look pretty imposing. Their character model is bigger than Verizian. The music is super good. Oh yeah, since these guys haven't been on my team in a while, they probably reset their AI to go down the path of murder, 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 murder. Oh hey, some somebody who's finally not super affected by signal beam. My favorite. Not nope, they're all on follow me. Hmm. Guess I'm still I'm just too used to Hydragon going rogue on me all the time. So Omolga's here instead of Dunsparce. Yep. Dunsparce figured it would probably be best if he stayed behind. Which I do find to be quite poetic. Oh, hey, box. Granted, basically just takes up inventory space, but... Well, that's very rude. Luckily, we stopped you in the doorway. Well, that's not very nice. Coalition Scarf, the level up your team, or uh, get your team attack equipped faster thing. You kill him. I believe in you. And Dragon Claw is upgraded. Huzzah. Now, if only the Bitter Cold is Dragon type, then we're gonna be set. Yeah, we don't want to recruit you. Yeah, we're just gonna let him... We'll let Le uh, Sleeping Trash lie for now. Alright, there's an item up there. Almost didn't see. Sure, it's only money, but still. If the world is gonna live on... We need all of the... Money we'll be able to carry. Uh, die. And a level up for the boy. Which means I'm not too far off from leveling up myself. Scary face all you want. Still gonna die. Ow. Kill. That was just another conga line of bastards coming to kill me. not bother the bear tick just yet now you I can bother you yeah good job leveling up kick a drain at least nobody at least the AI is smart enough to be like ah that enemy is sleeping we shall not attack them just yet at least I think so None of them used their quick attacks to wake up the bear tick. You are very mean. It's mecked. Jerk. How dare you blow fire our way. Give me the power! I shall annihilate you. Level up my skills. One shot the bitter cold. 
If only we could use team attacks in boss rooms. But all the bosses are like in their own dedicated spaces that reset team attack, it seems. Either that or I've just never looked at it. That's also entirely possible. Oh, dang it, I looked the wrong way. I thought I clicked the button, and it turned out that I did not. For I am but a fool, out to fight the bitter cold, and I don't even have a poncho. Would be ridiculously cute if everybody actually wore, like, cold weather jackets to go fight the bitter cold. You, how dare. Thank God that failed. I hate bug bite. I hate moves that steal my items. <coughs> We're here to kill you. You fight the trash. You can do it. You can murder. You can murder good. How dare you lay the smack down on me. I'm the one that lays the smack down on you. The music is just so good. And we move along. I feel like this is the biggest battle of my life. I'm gonna give it my all, Neon. We've come pretty far. We've come five floors. I think we're nearly there. Well, if you say so. I forgot to use the protons. Music's getting all more intense, so I'm kind of scared. Ooh. Now the intense music has gone funky. Tyrion Maze. And before I forget, we're definitely going protein. Let's look at everybody's attack stat. I definitely need them the most. I need to become powerful. Now I, too, am swole. Not right now. We're not here for recruitment. We're here for murder! But like positive murder. Murder against somebody we really don't like. Which means it's good. Yeah, you can do it. The music in this game is so good. I know I can't just wait I I just can't wait. For, like, these story segments to really start kicking off. Get nommed on, idiot. You're just leveling up my ability for murder. Ow. Very rude. Die. Enemies of multi-hit or like room-wide moves are my enemy. But like more so than just average enemies. So 
Some of the music in this segment is actually a bit unnerving. Kind of musical ambiance. For tension, it's like <laughs> there's like the bass that makes it kind of feel like a rave almost. Then there's like the creepy stuff that almost makes it feel like it's second sight up in here. I need to play second sight on the stream at some point. It's a good game. <laughs> what V-type is it today? Ah yes, bird-type V-wave. Still wonder why that was still in the game. Or like the Generation 1 games when Missino was kind of existing. Yep. Also, Mi Missino is bird normal type. <laughs> what part of that mess is normal? Only, only missing no nose, and the skeletons. You got fucking burned. God damn it! At least it wasn't me. If we really need to leave, we can. What the? Heck? Ah shit! That seems a bit rude. Game. At least everyone's traveling together. You are very annoying. Kill him, ally. Man, you got annihilated by something too, didn't you? Ow. Stop it. Pick up these items. And then head back. Go ahead and get you back to annihilation mode. What the hell? Don't think I've ever heard that sound effect before. Very rude of spawning enemy. <laughs> Second sight, what's, well, what's that game? I believe that it was originally intended to be a part of the Time Splitters franchise. Where it's like a, a third person shooter. But like, uh, for Second Sight itself, you are essentially playing as a guy. Trying to uh, like discover his past, and it's like uh, you shoot guns and you have psychic powers. It's uh, actually a pretty cool story because it was released back on like the PlayStation Two and GameCube era. So it's very, very cool. I want to re-experience it. It's been a long time since I've ever played it. Kind of encourages, like, stealth gameplay. It was a fun time. <laughs> Dug into the sparkly floor, got launched into oblivion. Basically, who knew that stalag the stalactites? Who knew that stalactites also uh, functioned as teleporters? Maybe I just did a Mario move. I backwards long jumped into another universe. Get annihilated, idiot. You can do it. You can murder him good. He was blocking the doorway. His immoyal, <laughs> immobile, immobile body. Blocking all entrance.
Oh, there's a detour nearby. Definitely not going into it. Because that's where the, the, the deal... I do not want to deal with whatever the hell will be through... Well, we can't even go through there anyway, so it all works out. <laughs> this entire floor is just a detour, apparently. Yeah, perfect. A weakling to annihilate for the power of my vine whip. Sorry, can't accept applications just yet. I smack you. Aha, your bombs, they fizzled. You are not the demo man. Ah, shit, you go kill him. Ow. Rude. Why couldn't you just assurance twice, my dude? Uh, do we really care at this point? Hmm. Is there anything we want to... I guess the warp seed. I don't really care about warp seeds. Warp Sweets. With the power of the Warp Sweets, we can teleport candy directly into people's mouths. The U.S. government steps in. Couldn't you do that with poison? No, why would we do that with poison? This is a candy shop. I'm Willy Wonka. Very rude. Why does signal beam do everything? Guess while we have it, might as well nom who has the lowest health. Technically it's you, so have it. No death, not for you. Ah, more vine whip leveling. Damn it, America, I was vine whip leveling. Well, you're very mean, aren't you? How dare you disable my ability. My beloved ability to do things. <laughs> and as chat has reminded me, do remember, stay hydrated. Hydration is important. You fool! Since it's on the floor, might as well drunk it. Who needs it the most? Definitely me. It's always me. I'm the one that needs it the most, because I'm the protagonist. Again, the music in this segment is very nice. Borders between kind of cool cave music and unnerving slightly. Hey, Locke, I see some light up ahead. Let's check it out. It could be the exit. And looky loo, it is. Th this is. Flying. Or is it gone? Is that what we're meant to get? Awesome! There are like a hundred glaciers in front of us. Locke, is this how it was the last time you were here? Yeah, this is the same view I remember. See, we weren't on the wrong path. <laughs> That's right. So now we just gotta wait here for Umbreon and Espeon to show up, huh? I hope it's that simple. But what's that sound? It's been going on for a while now. You know, it's just the flying hell castle. And it's really been bothering me. What? Everything suddenly got dark? Everyone! It's above us! Is it? Gah! The, the, that's... Terrifying. It literally is a flying castle of doom.
it is, isn't it? But it's not supposed to be here! So why is the Glacier Palace right above us? Apparently it's not just floating, it's also traveling across the land. And it's already come this far. But, do you... Am I the only one who hears something else, too? Ah, crap, it's Muna, Muna's gang! Hey, are we actually gonna fight the Salamence? Salamence? What? Who's this guy? It's Salamence. He's one of Muna's gang. What? How'd you guys get here? I know you're ghosts, but still. And the Shandular, too. So they're here to get in our way, are they? What do we do, Neon? Do we even have to ask? We defeat them. <laughs> Bro. Cha? So we can reach the Glacial Palace. We've got to do this! Considering we knocked these guys' lights out easily last time. Well, first things first. Highly doubt those will affect them. All dodge! Ow. Oh, a triple owl? How dare. Because eh. I wanted... Hey, let's swap places. Well, my all dodge didn't really do all that much. But all power up this time. Oh, hey, he's already gone. Pursuit! Oh, of course you have a skill that made you survive, jerk. And they're down. We did it! We beat them! We beat Salamence! Ha! You guys were nuts to even try to take us on. Don't you know who we are? Okay, everybody. Let's move on while we've got the chance. Homolka, watch out! Ah! Boy, Espeon! Ugh. It's a bit early to be letting your guard down, Homolka. Espeon! Espeon! Don't go sneaking up on me like that! No, sorry, I mean, thanks for saving me. Looks like everyone is still in one piece. Thank goodness for that, at least. Umbreon is getting everything ready. He's just up ahead. You, it feels like you got here pretty fast. <laughs> Did you also use Ender cards when you got everything ready? Let's hurry. Huh? Getting what ready? We found a way to get to the Glacial Palace. You did? You mean we can travel across the sky? That's like, seriously amazing! Really? You two, are really you two really are geniuses! I don't think it had anything to do with our genius, though. Well, never mind that now. Just come along with me. I don't know, something feels weird. Something feels off, I don't like it. Sorry for the wait, Umbreon. I brought everyone with me. Aren't these for summoning a Magnagate? Umbreon, you figured out how to use the intercards to reach the Glacial Palace after all? More or less. Though we'll be using some pretty special intercards. These should let us go straight there, without any dungeons or anything. Whoa! I knew you guys were geniuses. You made us some awesome intercards like that? Afraid not. These intercards weren't made by the two of us. The cards we're about to use are ones we picked up. Picked up? That's right. We found them among the glaciers. We were poking through the chunks of ice falling from the glacial palace. That's where we found these inner cards. How can that be? Basically, Espeon's intuition was exactly right. If you think back to the first time we came to the Great Glacier, you remember when we stood in front of the glacier? Before these crevasses. 
right around there, we found signs of a magnet gate being summoned. Do you remember that? Signs of a magnet gate being summoned. Yeah, I remember that. Neon found it, right? And then we tried using our intercards there and... Big ol' bridge of light. The light! It leads right to the glacier! There's no doubt about it. The remains of this magna gate, this path was used to lead straight from here to the great glacier. What? But that means... Someone summoned a magna gate here, and then made their way to the glacier. So that means someone came here before us? I can't say for sure. Maybe some Pokemon living around here use something like intercards and use this as a path to get around the crevasses or something. I didn't see it at the time, but thinking about it now, only one Pokemon capable of making that Magnegate pops into mind, right? Only one? Yep, the one we found the voice of a fr in a prism. Yep, only one. The Pokemon who, according to the stories, reached that spot before we did. Oh, you don't mean... You can't be suggesting Keldeo? That's right. Keldeo. Keldeo is the only Pokemon who reached the gla Glacier Palace before we did. And that old Magnegate we found. It would make sense. If Keldeo used Intercards to summon it. And if he did, that would mean Keldeo is also an Intercard user. And a genius one at that. Keldeo an Intercard user? I just can't imagine it. I mean, in all the years I knew him, I never even saw him glance at a set of intercards, you know? Perhaps he picked the skill up for some reason along the way. Although he appears to have made up his own method, Keldeo has a real gift for it. Frankly, the arrangement he thought up for crossing the crevasses was breathtaking. And the intercards we found this time... What? You think the those are Keldeo's handiwork too? It seems likely. Keldeo must know that the gl Glacier Palace would take off sooner or later. So he made intercards that could cross the sky, and drop them down here. When Espeon first suggested that we come check here for ideas, honestly I was baffled by it. Of course even I didn't think we'd find anything like these cards lying about. My intuition was just about Keldeo. But when I followed on from the conclusion that Keldeo was the intercard user, then I thought I might learn more here in the place where he passed through. That was only a guess, but Keldeo alone, while I can't explain it, I knew I was not mistaken. That is what my intuition told me. That's amazing! Kind of more like freaky, really. That intuition of yours, Espeon. At any rate, no one here ever heard of Keldeo again after he entered the Glacier Palace. Unless you technically count the hoof-riding letter. And now we found these intercards left behind. It's almost as if they were meant for us. When you look at it like that... You have to conclude that Keldeo is still at the Glacier Palace. K Keldeo is... And that he is Kurim's enemy. If he went to the trouble of leaving behind a method to cross the sky, it hardly seems possible that he's out to help Kurim with his goals. Huh. Then I wonder if Keldeo sent that letter... Not because he actually... Like like, uh, got affected by the bitter cold and his negativity rose up, but because he wanted Verizian to stay away for her own sake. And it would also make sense because Kirim is basically a guardian of the bitter cold and wants to bring about the end of the world, so it would make sense that if Keldeo, like, figured out the bitter cold was bad news, got very close and saw, like, Kirim and Kirim knew that Keldeo was, like, opposing the bitter cold, Kirim would, like, lie and say, nobody else got this far to placate us. Keldeo is... Keldeo is up there, in that glacier palace. Keldeo is there! There's still a whole lot of mysteries, but the only way we're gonna understand them is we go there. To the Glacier Palace. Of course, I want to say we're going to hell.
<sighs> hey, is it true? Can you really see it? Yeah, it's still far off, but there's no mistake in it. There's, that is no mirage. You're right. It's no mirage. You can see the real Glacier Palace. What does it mean? The Glacier Palace might be coming this way. It's coming here? Now that you mention it, it has been getting a bit bigger. So it's true? It's just like Locke said. The world is facing destruction. Ah, he was telling the truth. Ah. Hold on a moment. It's not as if the Glacier Palace has actually done anything yet now, is it? It just happens to drift this way. Are you serious? The bitter cold is going to destroy the whole world. And that's what's coming right at us. And you're trying to say that's all just fine and dandy? Hey, Duckling, don't get too worked up now. It's true, the bitter cold seems to be getting closer, and we don't know what it'll do. But, well, actually, it's even scarier because we don't know what it'll do. I believe we're in definite danger. How do you all think it'll happen? The end of the world, I mean. Will everything just blink out in an instant? Personally, I don't think so. I think perhaps everything will slowly crumble around us. But where will the destruction start from, then? Ah! You don't think! Maybe it'll start from right around the bitter cold itself? Then things closest to the bitter cold will be the first to go? It is unfortunate, but that does seem the most likely course of events. What? That's terrible! We've got to tell everyone! Wait, just wait one second. Why do you always have to go and make things worse than they are? If you go around panicking and spreading rumors like that, it's not like it's going to help anything, is it? You're only adding to the problem, aren't you? Uh, Dunsparce is exactly right. Swana! Signora! You Pokemon, what was all that oh, we've got to tell everyone nonsense? You just don't know when enough is enough, do you? So the destruction is going to stop from the area closest to, to the bitter cold, eh? You're just making assumptions. You don't know anything. You want to throw everyone into a panic by spreading that nonsense? Wake up already, would you? We've got the future to think about. And we've got to think of the children. So how about you all stop acting like such a bunch of twits? We've got work to do. And then they just walk away in silence, scolded. Honestly. Thanks, Swanna. Of course, Dunsparce. I know you're trying hard, at least, even if no one else is. Don't you give up. Not until the very end. I won't. It's right. I won't give up. We're going to get everyone to believe in the future again. We're going to make everyone believe together. So you and the others better not give up either, Neon. You've got to destroy the bitter cold. Don't lose to anyone. Go get him, Neon! Oh, great. Oh, I guess that's the... the path up there from the Magna Gate they presumably built with Keldeo's deck. Is this... It's all covered with ice, and you can see the sky outside. It may, be, it may have changed a bit since last time, but this definitely seems to be the Glacier Palace. We really got here without having to go through a single dungeon. That's crazy. We even came across the sky. What is this? What is with these inner cards, huh? They're unbelievable. They are indeed impressive to be able to make cards like this. Well, if I'm being honest, I'm quite jealous. Well, we are dungeon researchers, after all, so I know how you feel, but this is no time for that kind of chit-chat. We made it to the Glacier Palace, and that's what matters. Now we need to get to the bitter cold, and destroy it. We need to keep our focus on that and move forward. Wait a sec! It's great that we made it here, of course, but, um, what about getting back? How do we get back to paradise? We're way up here in the sky. Don't worry. Should be able to get back again by using Keldeo's Ender cards. Oh, really? Well, that's okay then. Why do I feel like he's <laughs> withholding things? Like, 
they know that, like, a part of me is thinking Umbreon knows that we can't make it back with the inner cards, and he's just trying to placate us so that we go on with all our strength. That's uh, okay, then. Phew. I was afraid for a second that maybe you guys weren't planning on making it back. That's ridiculous. We are absolutely going to return to paradise safe and sound. After all, if we didn't, how would we ever be able to face Dunsparce again? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. All right, well, let's go do this thing. Salamence came from up here, so that means we should assume Muna and the others are also up here somewhere. Do you think they noticed our arrival? Hard to say, but if they haven't, we should use that to our advantage. We'll draw attention if we travel all together in one big group, though. If we split up, we should be able to avoid getting caught by Muna. And if her thugs do find us and chase us, at least they'll have to split up their forces. Sounds fair. Let's split into three groups. Espion and I will stick together. Verizian and Mo Amolga should split team up. And finally, Neon and Locke. Each of our groups will go a different way. Does that sound all right to everyone? Fine with me. Stay safe, everyone. Make sure you don't lose, okay? Let's go, Espeon. Right behind you. We should out too. Yeah. Be careful, Neon and Locke. You all be careful too. All right, once we're ready, we ought to head out. Let's give it our all, Neon. Manage inventory time. Uh, the music is so good. Yeah. Hmm. I'll keep slow one like uh, I'll keep one slumber orb for like monster houses. Now we'll need a power up orb to replace the one we used. Let's see. All power up orb. In fact, we'll probably take two. Uh, another dodge orb as well, just in case we run into like multiple bosses. Let's head out as soon as we're ready. We're gonna do this, Neon. Hopefully. Let's go on. Of course you do that, you bastard. Very epic music playing now. I forget if this is... Like, I don't think this is the same music that played the last time we were here. The context is very different. Haha, <laughs> you fool. You fight him. Move away from where... Ah, uh, damn it. What the hell are you, Whirlipede? I guess... Scoliopede's... Evolved form? If only that would get rid of my burn. And upwards we go. <gasps> All right, one way in and then cutscene. I guess bad times for friend. Unless we need to play as everyone. That would be weird. Looks like we've still got a long way to go. Umbreon? What is it? When we... When Amolga asked you about getting back, why did you tell him? Why did you pretend we could use Keldeo's inner cards to get back? Why did you lie? I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I knew it! Ah. I knew that something was up when he, Amolga asked and he responded instantly. You played along too, you know. Why are you questioning it now? Well, it wasn't just me. Verizian did, too. I just didn't want to make Amulga and the others too afraid of what was coming. 
Me too. There's your answer. Anyway, we don't know for sure that it was a lie. We just can't verify it. If we had this time to study them, maybe we could find a way to use those inner cards to get back home. But that's just not the in the cards for us. Right now, we have to find a way to fight the bitter cold. If the world ends, there won't be anything for anyone to return to anyway. Umbreon, I don't know if it's even possible, but I still want us to make it back. You, me, everyone else. We all have to make it back. Back to paradise. I know, Espeon. I know. Ah, oh, well, horror times, I guess. Of course I get paralyzed from fucking lick, damn you. I wanted to annihilate this motherfucker, and then I did. But yeah, huzzah. <laughs> the pain and misery times have begun. What fun. So now, now if we actually do make it all out okay, we'll beat him and the mug is like, yeah, we did it! Alright, now let's use those inner cards, and then they're like, Well, you see, I kind of did a fucky-wucky. I lied. Why would you lie? Uh, motivational purposes? Huh. I guess... Maybe let's try to fight it, I guess. Why, why not? Damn you. And he died. And level up for the boy. <laughs> and from YouTube chat? Oh, do you have a Twitter or anything like a Discord? I do have a Discord account, but I don't have a Discord server. I also do have a Twitter. It should just be Neon Icy Wings on Twitter. Well, that's a very rude game. Don Poison. Wait. But if everything that I doth do should be found in my link tree. Although it seems that you said that the link tree doesn't work for you, which is weird. I'll have to double check it to make sure that anything, nothing's weird going on with it. Maybe throw in a card alongside my link tree as well. If that is a weird thing that happens sometimes. Who knows? Technology! Well, that's just me. Alright, now we'll beat you up. Get obliterated. You're not even a real Shandula. And now this motherfucker's here. Alright, at least... God damn it. What is with all of you guys appearing out of everywhere? At least these guys don't seem to have that same annoying, like, what is it? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of what it is. Like, a uh, contact, like, burn that, like, the, their unevolved form seem to have. Every single time I did an attack against their unevolved form, I got burned. Back when I was hanging out with Verizian. Or not Verizian, with a. Uh, what is it? Hydragon. So he's very. Have, whenever I see him now, I'm just very weary of him. I don't want to be burned again. As we go through the sparkling snow of hell. I wonder if we're gonna get a moment with Verizian and Amolga. Where Veriz uh, Amolga says, There isn't actually a way back, is there? That'd be... That'd be cruel.
But things have to get worse before they get better, so I wonder what's going to fucking happen. Very cool music that's playing, though. Well, now I'm wondering where the hell's the exit. Ah, to the right. The one way I didn't go. Never mind. The exit eludes me. Like a bitch. Ah, we can annihilate you easily. How dare you, Fury Swipe? How about you, Fury Die, instead? The perfect people to kill with my Vine Whip. Damn it. Minimize all you want, you'll still die. Motherfucker, I hate that move. That just shouldn't be a thing in this game. Bug bite shouldn't be a thing. Fuck off. Quit fucking with my inventory. Ah, the confusion skiddly deep. At least it also... Also, I don't think it should be able to use it back-to-back -back like that. Very rude game. Leave my inventory alone, you bastard. Well, that's just me. Of course, you went behind me, because you're a bitch. Now, we definitely need to make it... God damn you. First things first, we need to make it all the way back so I can get my attack back up. I was again very annoyed by, ooh, you tried to fight back against enemies, so therefore we're gonna punish you type abilities. Just doesn't feel very fair. Fuck off with Bug Bite. Go away. <laughs> but I also find it funny that, like, the second time that we have to leave somebody behind to go to the Glacier Palace, we're not doing it to appease the happy organization and their rules. We're doing it because we have to make sure that there's somebody behind trying to get people's hopes up. Mac. Get out of here. You motherfucker. Just no matter. What do you mean I missed game? He's right in front of me. Hey. How about you kill that guy, kill this guy? Go. The scarier these motherfuckers get. <laughs> Did Kirim just have them in his basement? It's like, oh, since we're gonna be flying off to conquer the world in destruction, why don't we unleash my super minions? God damn you. Stop that right now. Stop it this instant. Cease your existence. Very cool music still playing. Fucking whirlipede bastard. And I leveled up. And now we're entering the realm of only one experience point gains. Oh, another cutscene time. 
Oh boy. We've come pretty far, haven't we? What? Something on your mind? What? No! I it's nothing! Is that right? That reminds me. You hate me, don't you? So getting stuck with me was pretty bad luck for you, I guess. Sorry. Well, I never said I hate you! Sure, you really rubbed me the wrong way at first. But I kind of got it after hearing about Keldio and all. And I got to see some of your good side. Like you really keep it together even when everyone's freaking out. I guess I kind of get it now. Why Dunsparce wanted to be friends with you. Oh, well, that's good. Then that's good at least. I'm sorry too. I used to just needle you every chance I got. I've wanted to apologize for a while, but there just never seemed to be a good time. Oh, I don't blame you. Even I think I used to be an awful excuse for a Pokemon. So thanks. Thank you for becoming my friend. Ah, sure. Phew! That's a big weight off my mind. Let's give it our all, Verizian. We're gonna find that bitter cold and beat it for sure. Yes, we will. You know, Amulga, you're kind of a tough guy even if though you're adorable. That's why I like you. You- What?! <laughs> Something the matter? The music's so good in this game. And shouldn't we be hurrying on to find the bitter cold? Y yeah, okay. He got a compliment from Verizian. They will... <laughs> They are now a ship that everybody ships. God damn you, I hate your existence. You are a motherfucker. We're just beginning. Luckily, heal seeds. Other bastarding bugs. Now we're gonna leave you alone. You don't really give all that much. Experience. You know what? I'm just... I'm just gonna walk out of here. Goodbye. I'm not dealing with your bullshit. Stuck in the whirlwind, or the. Very rude. I want to leave now. I do not want to deal with his bullshit. Can I please leave? Pine. I eat the Warren Berry for help. And another all power up orb. That's nice at least. Just another conga line of bastards. They are not holding back. A slumber orb. Is there anything that I want to trade out for that? I guess a cherry. Well, first things. Yeah. There we go. Another cutscene? Oh no, we got the halfway point. Huzzah! Exactly what we required. Ah, huh, boost experience points as time goes by. That's neat. Hmm. A lot of slumber orbs. A 
got, we've come pretty far, haven't we? I feel like we're nearly through now. Let's be extra careful from here on out. Because we still need to fight Mona and her gang. And then there's Kirim, and then the Bitter Cold. You're very annoying. Just sitting there, boosting your stats, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. These enemies are being very jerks. Quit spamming Ember, you bastard. And that kills me because you're a fuck. Stop it and die already. Why do they have too much health? Why can they boost their speed? They should not be able to do that. It should be illegal. HP recovery has been temporarily blocked. You won't recover HP by walking, and you won't be able to heal using Oran Berries either. That feels bullshit. But I guess that's wh their way of, like, at least potentially putting the player into a danger zone. But considering the amount of just effects that we're dealing with already, me no likey. I'll blast you. And of course, there's just one big long dead end. Die. That's just mean. What a big old jerk using protect like that. How dare try to survive. That is illegal in 50 states. A creaky, creaky, like, sound effects at play sometimes. You smack him. Very owl. Ah, shit, it's you. You'll blast him. I hate burn. Burn is evil. Why do you have Peck? I guess because of your horns, but still. I feel like th that doesn't exactly count.
Peck is a weird move for a woolly mammoth to learn. And let's get out of here before this hail picks up. It seems like we should be almost out. Ah, there's a path over there! It looks like it should get get us somewhere. Let's go, Neon! Meanwhile, a Mulgan Verizium. Well, that's not good. That's a place. It looks like the path opens up a bit here. We'll be easy to spot, though. It'll be dangerous to stay here long. You're right about that. Ah, you guys. How did you get up here? That voice, an enemy? Huh. We got spotted just as soon as we said we should be careful, huh? Nyah! <laughs> this glacier palace is floating in the sky. I can't even believe that you rascals made it up here, but since you're here, I guess I've got no I've got to do something about it. Let's get him! Just an army of drill. That's bad. Ah! Six at once, huh? We should probably just look for an opening and run for it. <laughs> you may try to run, but you're not going to find it so easy. We'll just split up and hunt you down. Ah. Frisian, Amolga! What? More rascals? Lock, Neon! I'm a bit surprised to see you two of. Uh, the two of you surrounded like this, but at least you're alright. Yes, so far. <laughs> we just enter into the, <laughs> the ring. Alright. Let's show them how it's done. <laughs> Neon. So you plan to ignore Master Kyurim's generous warning, did you? Even if the others escape, you will never make it past this point. Never! I'll never let you pass! Well, first things first. All dodge! Oh yeah, because we did <laughs> get more experience while we were apart, so we got, got a level up. That amuses me. Also kind of funny that Amolka has a higher, like a faster level up curve than Verizian, but at the same time, kind of makes sense. And all power. Thank you, all dodge. Ah, the growl failed to affect me, you fool. Good job. We'll take out this guy, and then we'll go fight the Perugly. Actually, I guess we'll use an orange berry on a Molga, so you don't die. Die. Then I guess I'll put on heal for myself. And now we'll take down Perugly. Get smacked, idiot. 
Wow, you did not take much to die. Ah, drill. We finally beat them. We better move on. Yeah, you're right. These guys are exactly the type to chase after us once they're back on their feet. And if any of their friends catch up with them, we'll be in serious trouble. We won't be able to win against the, those numbers. I know. Let's get going. I find it amusing that the Perugly didn't last as long as the Exadrills did. Well, I'm gonna guess that next up will be Toxicroak that we'll have to fight. And then... Muna. If we'll even fight Muna. We have come quite far to the south. Our pace is increasing. Master Kirim, do you mean... The winds of despair are growing stronger. The bitter cold is gaining strength. The bitter cold is getting stronger. It appears it may come even sooner than I had anticipated. The ending of this world. Soon the bitter cold will be unstoppable. I cannot imagine anything would change after coming this far. Yet such unlikely things have happened. We will maintain our caution. Yes. Huh. Three crystals. I see. So the world is, finally, this miserable world that does not deserve to exist, will finally disappear. <whistles> Lady Mona! Toxicroak, what is it? It's Neon! Neon and the rest of those pests are all here at the Glacial Palace Croak! What? They already got Progly Croak! And Neon is a human! That means the bitter cold could be a danger croak! We can't just let them get away with this croak! Calm down, Toxic Croak. There's no need to panic. Huh? Things are different than they were at Mount Kilonia. We were trying to find them as they fled that time, but this time we know exactly where they are headed. And we know this place better than any of them do. That's true! We'll lure them when where we want them, and then take them all out at once. Crook! Cook, 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 cook. Roger, Crook! I'm gonna go tell everyone, Crook! The way he runs amuses me. Looks like we've come out someplace different this time. So, the bitter cold must be somewhere beyond here, right? I think so. If we just keep heading up, we should reach it, right? But we should... What, but what should we do now? Do we split up again? No, I don't think that would be a good idea any longer. Muna probably knows now that we're all here. That's true. We originally split up so Muna's gang wouldn't notice us. But if we get in another tight spot like ba back at before, I'd rather have all of us together. Safety in numbers, right? Got it. Then we'll stick together from here on out. But what do you think happened to Umbreon and Espeon? I wonder if they're okay. This music is super good. I'm worried too, but... Right now we have to focus on destroying the bitter cold. That's what they would want us to do. And it's not just for Umbreon and Espeon. All the Pokémon who aren't here. Everyone back in Paradise and Post Town. Oh, that's cool. So, <laughs> showing us Dunsparce. Like Dunsparce, who chose willingly to stay behind in Paradise and try to convince the others. And not only him. Herdier, Lillipup, and... Swana and all the others. They're all trying their best to convince everyone to believe in us. To believe we will destroy the bitter cold for them. So we have to believe in them too. We have to believe that Umbreon and Espeon are okay. We have to continue on this path. That's right. We must keep faith. It's all to save this world. We'll believe in them and do our best. The music is just great. And then creepy music plays.
Definitely don't think I'll need those. The music is just so good. Guess I'll bring two power bands. And our last reviver seed just because we can. Believe in everyone and give it your all! Everyone is counting on us to do it. To destroy the bitter cold. Let's go, Neon, to whatever lies ahead. I'm worried about Umbreon and Espeon, but we've just got to believe in them now. But we've got our own path to travel. Let's go, Neon! Ah, I didn't pick up more orbs. I'm a fool. Luckily, I have I kept extra, extra, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. And we've got two gold bars. Ah, fool. God, I almost forgot. Need to give them their power bands. Very rude. Now I'll take you up. No confusing the allies. Yeah, just move along. The Rainbows of Hope will reappear. Hopefully. I mean, that would be the perfect way to, like, capstone the story. Yeah, might as well activate it, get out of the way. There's no enemies around anyway. Well, great. It's Herdier's evil uncle. And I don't have anything to throw at him. And he just died. Idiot. Ah, another all power up orb, at least. And an extra power band. You know, you're actually not all that scary. That's... I hate... I hate room-wide moves like that. Room-wide moves is bullshit. Fuck off, you bastarding bitch. Should not be able to use it multiple times in a row at all. It's so bullshit. Unless you just flood the game with them so that the uh, player character can get them. Kindly, fuck off. Especially when, like, these rooms get so big at this point. There's just no justification. I hate you, game. I hate you. Does a heal orb... Nope, it just prevents that. It's not like a super heal. Which, in my opinion, is bullshit. They're just nowhere safe from those motherfuckers. Alright, I probably should use a Ornberry on myself. In case that's a go lurk that just decides to be a bastard.
Uh, people are getting beat up. <sighs> was that the last of them? It was a nasty battle. But it looks like we've finally broken through. There sure was an unusually large number of enemies. Never mind that now. Right there! Don't you see that? What could it be? Let's go check it out. Something bad. I surmise. What is this place? I suppose it's a Tower of Ice. Is it a prison? And it seems like there's an electric field running over the surface of the ice. It doesn't look that... Su it doesn't... And doesn't that look suspiciously like a door to you? Kind of makes me feel like this tower is made to keep something in. Or someone. You know, Umbreon, thinking about all those enemies back there, do you think they might have been guarding this place? Hmm, if that's true, there must be something here that's important to them. You don't think it's the bitter cold? I wonder. When we came to the Glacier Palace before, we were assuming the Great Crystal would be somewhere higher up, close to the top of the palace. But that doesn't make it impossible. Umbreon examined the door. It looks like it's built pretty strong. We might be able to open it from this side by applying a bit of pressure. In other words, you want to ram it. Well, I'll do my best. I knew I could count on you, Espeon. It should be the quickest way to get in. Personally, I think it's a prison keeping Keldeo in. On the count of three, then. One, two, three! And they just tumble on in. That's hilarious. I think it worked. Wonderful. You're right. Unless this is a trap for you. Wait. Are those... Enter cards. Umbreon, they're enter cards! And they look like the ones we picked up beneath the glacier. Umbreon! Over there! There's someone in here! How do you have this many enter cards? Hey, are you alright? Uh, thank goodness. L looks like he's still breathing. You... You actually came. Thanks. It was a pretty long shot, but I guess all hope wasn't lost after all. We gotta hurry. Get away. You're weak, kid. Don't do anything crazy. Umbreon, don't you think this Pokemon could be... It's obvious, isn't it? No doubt this is Keldeo. How do you know my name? The real question is, why would his captors leave all his inner cards with him? I just hope that there's less go lurks in this one. Because if there are, like, at all... Uh... Because really, I think the, the go-to strat might just be stay in tunnels as much as possible. Because the moment you go into a big room and there's a go lurk, you're fucked. Oh, hey, look, a Golurk that was trying to sneak up on me like a bitch. I ain't dealing with you, you bastard. And another all-power up orb. And just a dead end. But yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid open spaces if I can. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. So that makes me wonder, because he said finally somebody came, but if he was actually stuck here all this time, how did... A hoof-written note, with his hoof-writing, make it out. Huh. Everything is weird. Everything is very weird.
Get out of here. Still don't know why there's so many water types up in here. Mian Shao! You look so bad with your posture. I hate corner cutters. Die already. Just gonna... Tap heal a little bit, then move along. Don't want to bring any Golurks upon me. Perfect place to sit and heal. In a dead end where I can control who comes in and out. You get him. Actually, go double get him. And then another enemy comes on in. Very rude. So many of these motherfuckers. Have to get through all these winding enemies. Maybe I should have brought in more Oran berries. The music is still so very good. Love the music in this game. Get annihilated. And if we could get that all dodge orb, that would be very good. We'd be prepared for any other boss fights we might run across. Hmm. Gotta run across. Hope that no go lurks come out to magnitude us. Because again, that's just the one thing that can really annihilate us. Because all room affecting moves are bullshit, and I hate them. Luckily, this Glaceon stopped the Golurk from getting in. Thank God. Sure. Hmm, what name should we give a Glaceon? The basic bitch answer is Elsa. Hmm. Hmm. Du -du -du -du. You know what? I, for some reason, my brain finds it funny to call you Blaze. Give him some freezer burn. It amuses me. Now get out of here. Thank God he didn't use magnitude. It probably wouldn't have done much since we were all right in his business, but it would have been annoying to have to heal all that damage. I hate you. Bug Bite is such a bullshit move. Anything that steals from my goddamn inventory needs to go fuck off.
Uh, not you, you bastard. I hate these kinds of enemies that are just in my goddamn way. Please don't be a Golurk. Good, it's just a Glaceon. And we got the All Dodge. And we need to get the fuck out of here because that's a Golurk and he's gonna ruin our day. Smack him. There's so many goddamn enemies. And I got a new move. Gastro Acid. I don't think that's going to help me much. I know it gets, like, stops abilities from activating, but no. Doesn't... Not really in... Why are there so many goddamn enemies up here? I hate you, game. God, you're annoying right now, game. Stop. I fucking hate you. This is so bullshit. Stop, you cunt of a game. I wish that you would fuck off. Just like, fuck off so many enemies. Jesus fucking Christ. Do you think you have enough game? Seriously, how could there be that many goddamn enemies? One blocking my path, and then many others, like, luring my ally away. It's annoying. Stop! Especially because that, like, used up, I think, two reviver seats, potentially. And now we're down to two reviver seats. Goddamn bullshit. You steal from my fucking inventory. You do all this shit and it's annoying. Hmm. Guess I could bring out more foe hold orbs. Let's see. Because foe hold is petrifies on the floor, so yeah. I'm gonna take a few of these then. Because game's being an utter bastard. So far, there's no sign of the bitter cold, huh? Not that we even know what it's supposed to look like. We've climbed so high, but we still haven't reached the top. I still don't have the suffocating feeling. I guess that means we're still pretty far from the bitter cold then. But there's still Muna and Kirim, and the rest of them to worry about. Be on guard. I don't want to hang around in big open rooms too much because of fucking go luck. Oh. Guess it makes sense that Zoroarks would start appearing considering that Zoroas were pretty plentiful on our way. I forget exactly where. But I know Zorobo started appearing somewhere. 
on an uh, expedition. Yeah, let's let that motherfucker just glide on by for now. I don't want to deal with you. Kill him! I hate that you have a dance. Well... well I hate that there's... Why is there a fucking bug up here? Also, ah, oh, there we go, that's why. Orenberry for you, because game's being an asshole again. Will he please fucking die already? God damn you. I hate that they have so much goddamn health. Also annoying that I can't just jump into the fire tornado to replace my ally. Ah, we're gonna make it so you can't do strategy. Ah, my favorite. And just like, I hate not being able to do anything with these goddamn enemies. God damn it, that's another one of them, isn't it? Oh, never mind, it was a Stoutland. I thought it was gonna be another one of the goddamn bugs. Ah, you know what, I'm just kidding gonna leave. Not even give it another chance for enemies to come annihilate me. God damn it, game. Quit fucking up my controls. I'm gonna kill this asshole. Now we have to wait for him to get out so we can go on. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Now we just need to get out of here. <laughs> Stairs in big room. We're not going to give Golurks a chance to spawn. There's no way, Jose. Guess we can throw rocks now. God damn it. Every single time my allies walk away, I'm like, god damn it, they're gonna die, aren't they? The enemies here are assholes. It didn't even exist, why would you try? Leave the sleeping bird. Because it will just give a chance for Golurks to come annihilate us. Well, that's ominous. Maybe the bitter cold will just fall to the ground and shatter on its own. What was that just now? It was like a huge earthquake. What could be happening now? It definitely doesn't seem like anything good. Let's hurry onward. Somehow, this place looks a little different, doesn't it? It's so dark, I can hardly see a thing. I don't like that. Be- Everyone careful! Something's in here! You! Isn't that voice? It's Muna's voice! Why would you possibly want to save this world? This cold, harsh, broken world! Whoa! God is surrounded after all. My friends here. All of them are Pokemon who are sick of this rotten world. 
Cha! Giga! This absurd world, this unfair world. A world where only the honest suffer. A world where evil flourishes unchecked. A world like this, it deserves to be destroyed. Everyone, look out! This world has to be destroyed! Not a one of, will, of you will be allowed to get past this point. Never! All together now. Go! As always, that probably won't work, but what should work is all dodge. Then I'll go fight the Gigaliths. Well, that's rude. And then... I'll power up! First things first, we need to target down these Gigalents. It seems to be going well. How'd that hit me? Trade you. And Muna went down instantly. because you're kind of scary. Booyah. What? Why do you have tough multiple times? Okay, that's kind of bullshit game. Defense power going down. I don't think I have anything that will, like, actually super help. What do you mean, game? What do you mean, like, tough makes it survive? That's bullshit. Okay, um... I'm gonna use the Encourage Seed on you. Amolga, kill him. <laughs> that was bullshit. Should not be able to just have his ability do it multiple times. Ah, crook. Gigah. We did it. We finally did it. We finally beat them. Another tremor? We better move on. This looks like the highest point we reached the last time we were here. We should be close to the top now. That looks like our path right there. Yeah, let's go. Wait! I won't let you lot go any farther. Your fate, our fate, cannot be changed. The Tremors are coming more often now. Why? Why would you go to such extremes? Because all of my friends here, they were all forsaken by the world. Croc. Giga. Just as I was. We were toyed with, betrayed, and left with nothing but despair. But when I was wandering alone in the depths of despair, I met these Pokemon. And then I met Master Kyurem, and I learned the truth about this world's fate. These Pokemon here accepted me, even when I had nothing. They reached out to me, they related to me. That was when I decided we could do it together. We could bring everything to an end, together. Me, my friends, in this ill-fated world, everything would disappear without even a whimper. I understand why you lost faith in the world, Muna. But if you really care about your friends, 
How can you think it's a good thing for all of them to disappear? What are you saying? If you really cared about them, you wouldn't want them to disappear. If they're really your friends, then, you should want them to be happy. Don't you want that for them? Ha! Tell me how you anyone can be happy in this miserable world. All that exists in this world is pain. And to escape that pain, you have to disappear. That's what I wanted for my friends, to take them away from that pain. But if we disappeared one at a time, those left behind would suffer even more. Croc! So if we all disappear together, then there won't be any pain left. Everything will be okay as long as we all disappear together! Come on, you lot! Oh, what? Stop! Oh, hey! Intercard time! Guess, guess, guess we have the master of intercards with us. Humbrion, Espeon! Thank goodness. It looks as if we're still in time. K Keldeo! Keldeo? What? You mean THE Keldeo? Keldeo, how did you escape from that tower? Oh, you little meddlers. I've heard most of the story from Umbreon here. Muna, I'm sorry for you, but... Neon and the others are going ahead to do what they came here to do. I'm gonna see to that. You... Espeon! What's this about a tower? Keldia was locked in a tower of ice. He was being kept prisoner here in the Glacier Palace this whole time. That's where you're wrong. Keldia let himself be caught on purpose. All because he thought he could convince us to change our plans. What? The first time this guy came to the Glacier Palace, he made it all the way to the legendary Great Crystal. He even learned the secret of the bitter cold. I invited him to join our cause, to be one of us and help us destroy the world, but he rejected us. Of course I'd reject an idea like that. I couldn't agree to a future of destruction. After I said no to them, Kirim and Muna's gang chased me relentlessly. There were a lot of times when I wasn't sure I'd make it. But as I ran, I began to have my doubts. I began to wonder if Moon and the others really were determined to end the world. And so I came back here. I came back to try and convince them to reconsider. But these guys wouldn't listen to a thing I said. So in the end, I was captured and locked up here in the Glacier Palace. What else would you expect? Of course we wouldn't listen to your pretty lies. I wonder about that. It looked to me like you had your own doubts. It still looks that way, in fact. No! No, you're wrong! There's not a single good thing about this world for any of us! That's why we all want to disappear together! If we're together, we won't be sad or scared, never again! There's no good in this world, and that's why we have no choice but to disappear! No good in this world? Sure there is! You have your friends, don't you? Even if your goals are pretty messed up, your feelings for each other are true, right? You're all working hard together to make it through. Aren't you all alive right now, thanks to one another? Grok. And you're just gonna throw it all away and disappear? You all want to disappear so badly that you'd lose your precious friends to do it? I know the world may be rotten right now, but if we can make this world a world this make this a world worth living in again. Then wouldn't you want to stay here with your friends? A world worth living in? Is such a world even possible? Even if you could save the world now, do you really think such a future could come? It will! I'm gonna make it happen! The, the tremors are... Lady Mona, the icicles! They are shaking, ma'am! Crook! That huge icicle! It's gonna collapse! It's falling this way! Watch out! Run for it! Don't, don't. If their partner dies midway through, that's gonna be horrible. Don't you dare! Don't you dare, game! Oh! Muna pushed us out of the way! And now it's just gonna be us against the bitter cold. M Muna, Lady Muna, she saved Neon and Locke. Muna, Muna, you okay, Muna? 
Don't sound so worried. I'm fine. Never mind me. Just keep going. What? I've sworn loyalty to Master Kyurim. I can't go any farther than this, so... I'll have to count on you. Please, save the world. Muna! Neon! Luck! I'm counting on you too! Please, save our world! M me too! And I... Please, the fate of the world is up to you! Neon! Luck! Neon! Luck! It's all up to you two now! Get it done and then hurry back to us! Smash that stupid bitter cold into a million pieces! We will. Muna, and all of you, thank you. We're going. We're definitely gonna protect this world. Let's go, Neon. We'll be back. Unless this goes the way of Explorer's. You better! Because if it goes Explorer's way, then one of us ain't coming back. And so they have gone. That's right! Lady Muna! Lady Muna! Lady Muna! Why are you all freaking out? Didn't already say I'm fine? You useless bunch of... <laughs> Looks like you've got some real fans here, Muna. You're a real lucky lady. <laughs> Keldio? Are you okay? You've been pushing yourself pretty hard. Kildia was already quite weak when we first found him, but he insisted on coming. He wouldn't listen to us. I'll survive. Keldio. Verizian. I heard it all from Umbreon. I'm so sorry. Everything is my fault. That letter seems to have caused you a lot of suffering. Just before I sent that letter, I was dodging Kyurem and Muna and the rest of them. Of course, I was worried about myself during all those attacks, but... I ended up being more worried about you. I knew if Muna started poking around in her hunt for me, she might find you instead. You were my best friend. If you ended up in here in danger, too. This music is so good! I just couldn't let that happen. So I sent that letter. To cut off any ties between us. To make sure you were safe. Keldio. But even if I did it for the right reasons. That doesn't change how much doubt and suffering I caused you. I'm so sorry. You were my best friend and I... I'm sorry. For ever writing one word of that horrible letter. No, I'm the one who's sorry. I should have believed in you no matter what. But I doubted you. I began to doubt the whole world. I finally ended up being cold to everyone. If I just believed in you from the start, I'm the one who's sorry. For not believing in our friendship. <laughs> I'm... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Verizian. Verizian. It's kind of odd. I'm the one who should be the most to blame here, yet... This doesn't make any sense. Let's put it all behind us. If you'll just be my friend again. If you'll just smile at me again. That's... That's all I need. Music in this game is so good! And I don't think we have many Reviver Seeds left. For this final battle. Either final battle or final dungeon. Danger ahead either way. Ah, ah, once we get through there, I think we'll reach the very top. Ah. Where the bitter cold is waiting for us. Locke is really having trouble breathing. And the wind seems to be sucking us in toward the entrance. That's right. It's just like the hall in the Glacial Palace. We felt the same wind then. And when we tried to go that way, everyone collapsed because of that bitter cold. This music. This is probably the same thing. Hey, Neon! You don't need to worry about me. It's a bit tough, sure, but I can take this. Now I've got to take it. I'm going to be there with you until the end, Neon. So let's give it all we've got. Definitely should have taken more stuff with me. 
The music that's playing is just so good. Alright. Oh, wait, did I actually put anything? Nope. Da -da, da -da. Love the music! I'm fine! <sighs> Let's go, Neon. Let's go. <laughs> My phone died, what did I miss? Uh, we talk no jutsu to Muna, and she saved our life. Now, we just gotta go a bit farther. To the bitter cold! I know it's just a palette swap of the normal ice, but it still looks so cool. Some very good music. I want more of the motif of the main theme. <laughs> Let's let that guy lie. Well, actually, we should be able to smack these guys down pretty good. Hmm, lots of Hydrogen evolution line in here. Uh, damn it, not you. Dang it. Now we're just surrounded. That's not good. I should have brought more orange berries. I'm an idiot. It's never had much, like, use for the orange berries up till now. They didn't think about it. Dang it. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Just gonna quickly go back to the... ...save point we were at, and grab some orange berries, because we're definitely gonna need them. Because we saved just before everything, and if not, then I'll just have to suffer. There we go. Definitely need more orange berries to make it through this part. Cause my, I just, I'm not used to like going out of my way to grab orange berries. It's not research, a uh, resource that I valued up till now. Cause we have to covet our reviver seeds hard. And I'd rather restart now, before having to suffer immensely. Let's see, because uh, we have lots of orange berries. And we're gonna take a lot of orange berries. To facilitate our lack of reviver seeds. Hmm. And I guess bring along some encouraged seeds for boss fight. We'll do an extra save so that things go bad. Oh, this segment, that sec <laughs> that segment is so good. Let's go. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. And I'll let that guy lie. He's steel, and I don't want to deal with a steel type more than I have to. Can 
I love the music in this game. Now you go smack him up a bit. With those guys, we can just trade off a little bit. Da -da -da -da. Just love the music. It's a, definitely a fitting song for like the final dungeon before presumably the final boss. Uh, we should probably check out that way, because it could lead to a dead end that holds the stairs. <laughs> My intuition comes into play! No, actually I have two Reviver Seeds. Come to think of it. I have one all dodge, so uh, that'll help for the boss fight. If there's gonna be a boss fight. Ah, uh, shit, there might be more boss fight, because we'll probably have to fight Kirim and then the Bitter Cold. Shit. Hopefully there's a midway point and I can grab additional... The only things... At least those guys have low health. Oh, okay, there's a lot of items here. If this guy doesn't do too much damage, we might wander around a bit. Maybe we'll find a Reviver C just on the floor, even though that seems to be an impossibility in this world. I wonder if I can throw seeds at the Bitter Cold, force it to eat them. I'm a Sleep Seed. Well, we do have a Vile Seed as well. Honestly. You are very annoying. Please die. So you're gonna rage, you really should have packed more than two. I only had two! <laughs> you should use companion mode now? Maybe. Especially because we just got to another one of these, huh? I guess I could save and, like, at least try to see if there's any, like, reviver seats to buy. Let's see, can I go companion mode? Sure. Let's see. Meanwhile, the teammates in paradise were... Oh yeah, because this is the first time I'm doing it. Oh, I've been waiting for you, hmm? Here you don't have to worry about Neon's story. One of your team members who was left in paradise can take on a request, hmm? If you just feel like mm, exploring some dungeons, this mode's perfect for quickly starting or stopping play at any time, hmm? But no matter how much you play here, Neon's adventure won't move forward. Please be aware of that, hmm? When you want to get back to Neon and the others, switch back to them by selecting Neon Mode from the X menu, hmm? Oh, and one last thing, any items or Poké that you earn here can be used in Neon Mode too. So do your best on requests here, hmm? And it'll be good for making it through the story in Neon Mode, hmm? Good luck, hmm? Oh neat, everyone's here. I came here because I Rampardos invited me, but my customers are very important too, and so I decided to open my gift shop here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
Can you see I'm talking to my lovely Chinchino right now? What is it? You want me to open you a treasure box? Well, all right then, watch this. Just do it right in front of her. I'll just take all the money and see if I can buy. And then maybe also take some of the boxes we have and open them. Definitely a reviver seed, please. I wonder if I can reset his shop by entering and exiting companion mode. That would be funny. Box, bust up these boxes, my dear man. Oh, hey, <laughs> special, a special uh, view there. We got two gold bars, but it's way too late in the game to put out the uh, blah blah blah, the TMs from the gold shop. I need all the power I can get from my leveled up moves. More gold bars. Two. Another max elixir. And the final one, and then we'll see if we can go to Kecleon or not, if we're just uh, stuck here. Considering that these guys are here, but then again, who knows? Maybe this is part of the diddly D, who knows? Items away. Considering that all of the shopkeeps are here, I'm going to presume that I can't go to... Yeah, you can't go to Post Town. Play in Paradise! Hmm. Now I want to see. If I go to Neon Mode, and then come back... Well, that works well. I'm gonna see if it'll reset his store, and if I can just cheese it. Oh, and I should have read that. Oh well, we're gonna go back to companion mode anyway. The ultimate way to get reviver seeds, maybe. And if not, maybe we'll do a few quick dungeons. Definitely need to grab money. And let's see. Has the Quagsire Assembly reset its shop? No, it doesn't look like it did. Hmm. Because I have three Reviver Seeds now. <laughs> Chat says, I don't mean to be resentful, Neon, but you're going to need more than two Reviver Seeds, which probably also means... More than three, but at the same time... Oh, hey! I know what to do! Oh, I can't help but wonder about those two. Treasure boxes and gift boxes. Perhaps they bond over boxes. <laughs> what, do you wish to exchange some gold bars with me? Excellent. You'll find bars, not boxes. Glorious gold bars! Considering that we're not going to get, like, much out of it, Let's, uh, do some Reviver Seed exchanging. Because I can find gold bars doing normal diddly Ds. Like, uh... With the gold specs. So I'll stock up on Reviver Seeds through the gold exchange. I wish that would just stay in the items. Chat is very happy to see Zoro and Neon. Or at least a stand-in. We'll do two more. See, it's a good thing that I stocked up on my gold bars, huh? Came in clutch. And also, this is probably the real intent of the gold bars. 
Let's see. Now we'll have like eight reviver seeds. I like how in Explorers of Time, Dark and Sky, Zatu uses its psychic powers, maybe. And in this game, Rampardos just smashes his head. It is funny, ain't it? But there we go. Because I was smart and saved my gold bars and also got a lot of gold bars from those last few <laughs> boxes. The story so far. Neon and Locke bear the hopes of their friends and Muna's group as they take on the Great Spire. But Locke's breath grows short. The bitter cold is close. The final battle is near. And what comes with the final battle? Also comes in. We don't need this many orange berries. I don't think. But we are gonna need this many Reviva Seeds. Through the power of gold, we have attained immortality! Now that makes me wonder, like, with how the box changed from Zatu to Rampardos, I wonder why a Duskull opened a bank. Like, at least it makes sense for a Persian to open a bank. Because Meowth and stuff. But, like, a Meowth and, like, Payday and stuff. But why would a Duskull open a bank? Unless a Duskull can also learn Payday. That would be funny. Duskull just reaches into its skull, throws coins at you. I wonder if in the real Pokemon world, well, quote, a real Pokemon world, a Pokemon world where humans and Pokemon team up and do things, if it's illegal to have your Meowth use Payday for the sake of making money. Like, probably. We're going to annihilate you. Again, the music is so good. Da -da -da. This game is just so lovely. It'll be hilarious if we still lose, even through all the Reviver Seeds that we've used gold to buy. <laughs> and honestly, my goal now is to get through the presumably Kyurem and then uh, Bitter Cold bosses without using more than two Reviver Seeds. Just to show chat that I am a pro gamer. But we'll have to see. But... I just love the music. I do wish that there was more of a story-based, like, motif. Well, then again, I guess the super exciting intro music is... If eight wasn't enough, maybe get 16. <laughs> the room before the big long walk. <sighs> Locke seems to be having quite a bit of trouble. I guess that's a good sign in a way. We're getting close to the bitter cold. But I think he's pushing himself too hard. Can he really do this? <sighs> I wonder if we're at the top of the spire. It's pretty wide open. Oh, Neon! There! Ah, ominous. Look! There's strong wind going in that direction. The bitter cold may be up ahead. Let's go, Neon! And Kyurem. Halt! Halt! That's Kyurem's voice. Just when we were so close! I really hoped we could get there without running into Kyurem. Is it true? It is true that the bitter cold lies within. However... You two will never reach it. Cure him. Did I not tell you that if you still harbor the desire to save this world, I would dedicate every fiber of my being to destroying you? 
Like we would accept that just because you knocked us around. Not a sad fate like that. Not the disappearance of the whole Pokemon world. Just give up. No matter how fiercely you struggle, the future cannot be altered. You're wrong. The future is up to us. It's something we create! It may be that you could alter some small fate by your own hand. However, in the face of so great a fate as this, you are like a soft breeze against a stone wall. The fate of the world has been decided. It will not be moved. That can't be. If enough breezes blow together, we will form a gale that can break down any wall. That means that together, we can overcome any obstacle, even you. If that's what you say, then, prove it. Show me, if you can, how you will overcome me. All dodge! Well, that's not good. Oh, hey. Interesting. And then I'll power up. I have no idea what the range is for stuff against this guy. That's horrifying. Use your dragon moves. Ornberry. There you go. Oh, he died. <laughs> Lol. All power orb win the day. And little dragon boy. <sighs> little dragon boy re respiratory issues. <sighs> we. We did it. We actually beat cure him. <sighs> Neon. We've got to hurry to where the bitter cold is. Wait. It is. Impossible. I understand now the strength of your beliefs. But no matter how you struggle, no matter how you try, this is the future, and it cannot be changed. And yet, what lies ahead, what the strength of those beliefs might lead to, that is something I might like to see. Cure him! Prove it then. Show me the strength of your will. The strength of your spirit. Cure him. You just watch, Cure him. We'll show you true will and spirit. Let's go! Maybe it's because he feels that since this is meant to be the future, the end of the world, and if we're able to beat the bitter cold, then maybe we could also change the fate of the world being a cold, dark, mean place. Well, this is horrifying. Never mind, that is horrifying. It... <laughs> If, it, if, if there's an eye in the center, this is a Kirby boss. Then again, it feeds on negative it, and we're just floating. So that is the bitter cold. C can't breathe. Lock! This... this is no ordinary wind. It's Kiram's voice. This wind is made up of the negative emotions of this world's Pokémon. We call this phenomena the Winds of Despair. The Winds of Despair? That is correct. Distrust, despair, hopelessness. 
All the negative feelings are absorbed by the bitter cold through this wind. The wind becomes a powerful storm, roaring destructively in all directions. And the bitter cold uses these winds of despair as energy. They feed it. They cause it to grow. So that's it. The winds of despair are actually made of negative emotion. Being exposed to the winds up close. No wonder Locke is having such a hard time. Neon, I'm fine. Just hurry and destroy the bitter cold. Ah! My chest. I can't breathe. But it's not supposed to affect me. I'm not a Pokemon. Is it because we like this world so much and we connected to it? Uh. Negative emotions built into an agony that even I can... Is it because motherfucking Kirim and Muna went around annihilating the humans and the humans' negative energy went into the bitter cold as well? But even so, it's still probably not as bad as what Locke has gone through. I gotta keep going. <sighs> the pain is... I can't summon up any strength. I can't take even one more step forward. This can't be happening. I've come this far. I've come this far and now I can't do a thing to change our fate. Everyone, everyone's counting on me and yet I'm supposed to be the one who can save this world. So why am I? Why can't I do nothing? You can do it! What? What was that? I thought I heard... Don't give up! I... I wasn't just hearing things. You can do it! I can... hear it too. Don't give up! I also hear it. Don't give up! You can do it! Don't give up. Don't give up! The voices... They're multiplying. Don't give up. Don't give up! You can do it! Don't give up! The wind is... Don't give up. Don't give up! Don't give up. Don't give up! This... This is... Don't give up! Don't give up! Don't give up! Just over and over again. Don't give up! Don't give up! Don't you give up yet! Don't give up, hmm? Please don't give up! Well, don't you give up on us now! Don't give up! Don't give up! Uh, don't give up now! You're going to do it! You'll be hearing it from me if you give up now! You can do it! No giving up now! Yeah, you better not give up! Just get it done. Don't stumble now. I believe in you. And I'm counting on you. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is... Everyone is... These are the voices of the ones who believe in you. The Pokémon are broadcasting their thoughts and wishes to this place. It may not be all the Pokémon in this world. Yet there are Pokémon who have turned to face the future again, thanks to your call. The number of Pokémon who are clinging to hope has increased. Their voices of support have weakened the winds of despair. Weaken the winds? That is correct. The positive energy of those Pokémon. It is hindering the movement of the bitter cold. I knew it! We just got everybody to stay positive. I knew we could change the world and the future. My strength is coming back to me. I can fight now. Here I go. All power.
And you know what? I also have health orbs. You're not gonna drain my power. I, I might not be able to, but I gotta keep going. And this is why orange berries exist, idiot. This is like hopes and dreams. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Standing here, I realize exactly. I'll keep on trying. <sighs> my attacks, my attacks aren't doing anything. Not a one has landed. No matter how I attack, I can't even scratch the bitter cold. Then how? How can I possibly? No! Ah! The moment I began to doubt myself, the wind! Dion, you can't lose faith now! You have to stay strong! The wind is... The bitter cold is getting even more. Granddad, I can see something above the glacial palace. Och, what is it? That ever looking purple vortex. What is happening now, hmm? I don't feel as though it could be anything good, hmm? Yeah, it sure does give off one wicked feeling, huh? That purple mess up there. We all try to come together and stay positive, but it doesn't seem to be helping at all. It's pretty tough. Even staying positive seems as though it won't be enough, does it? Reality truly is harsh. Wait, what are you all saying? We can't give up now. The Pokemon who have passed through Post Town are surely spreading the word. And thanks to them, I'm sure Pokemon in other towns are joining in too. And what about everyone in the square? They aren't watching the Glacial Palace, but they're still giving it all they've got. What will they do if we all start panicking because we can see what's going on? We've got to have more faith in Neon. And in everyone who went to the Glacier Palace! Hey! Look, everybody! That purple cloud thing is! It's getting even bigger! He's right, yo! Looks like trouble! I knew it! We're doomed, aren't we? Even coming together now! It was too late for us to change a thing, right? Granddad. Lillipop. You lot. Don't you give in to your fears now. They'll be, they'll be needing us to stand strong now. I cannot just... What's gone wrong? Why is it my words sound so futile to my own ears? That do not sound like the words of one who's speaking from his heart. Why? Why is it that my own words sound untrue? Could it be that even I... Even my own stout heart is failing me? Just when we were all hoping to come together to stand up for hope. No matter how we try. No matter how hard we fight. In the end, our blasted fate... Can that be changed, can it? Ah! Neon! You can't give up! I'm gonna believe it till the end! So you've gotta do the same, Neon! Ah. Ah. That's right. I won't give up! I'll wring out every last bit of strength I've got! And attack! Ah! Ah! Didn't like that, did you, you bastard? No way that's it. <laughs> no way was the boss fight just banging my head against the wall and then it working. <laughs> Right? Oh, that's cool. 
That's cool! Everyone, look at that! That's a rainbow? He's right. It's a rainbow. Behind the Glacier Palace, you can see a rainbow. Oh, it cannot be. It cannot be the rainbows of old days. No, the rainbow! It's disappearing! But it was there for a moment. Oh, it was only for a few seconds, but everyone saw it, right? Yes, I saw it. It was a beautiful rainbow. It's true, then. That bonny memory from the old days had nearly faded away. But there can be no mistake in it. That was one of the rainbows of hope. I'm very certain of it. I knew it! I knew it had to be them! They're back! The rainbows of hope! Just seeing them is enough to fill anyone with hope! I want to see them again! Mm-hmm. I would like to see them stretched all the way across the sky. I'm going to tell everyone in the square! Hope! Aye, there's still a bit of hope left for us then! Please! Let us see them again! Show me too! Bring back the rainbows of hope! Please! I completely forgot Dunsparce's voice because of everything. Please! Bring them- I, I, I just got stuck on him. Bring them back for us! Neon! The voices. Everyone's voices. I can hear them. Their feelings. Their hearts. They are all driving me forward! Neon, go! I have the power of rainbows of hope on my side. All dodge. All power. I'll take you on. And you know what? Health Orb 2, you're not affecting me! The music. You think you've got anything on me, you... Bastard! Oh! <laughs> and then I just beat it enough immediately. I wanted to hear more of the music though, damn it! And hey, look at that! No reviver seeds used. I'm a badass. We did it! Neon, you finally defeated the bitter cold! And now this place is gonna fucking fall! Oh, the rainbows! I can see the rainbows! And they seem even clearer than they used to be! That mm, purple haze is all gone too! And in its place, the rainbows of hope! The many, many rainbows of hope! They're showing up clear and beautiful! And he just teleported out of there, coward! The glacier palace falls to pieces! In the wake of hope! With all of us on it. The, the Glacial Palace! It's collapsing! Collapsing? Oh no! What about Neon and the others? I think they're still in there! Please. Please let everyone be okay. Would you like to save your adventure? We must save over our own deaths. I wanted to hear more of the, 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 I guess, second, the true fight against the, 
bitter cold more, but I just beat it too hard. Uh, 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 where am I? Hey, Hydrogen. Did... Oh! Is this where we were summoned from, or at least a place like that? Don't tell me that we're leaving like this. This is... That's right. I think I must have blacked out after the bitter cold shattered. Lock. Uh... Neon! It's really you, right? You're really okay, Neon? Thank goodness! But where are we? Voice of life, don't you dare whip, rip me away right now. D don't tell me. We aren't in the spirit world or something, right? Well, considering... <laughs> I mean, this is the third Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. It wouldn't be the first time that a protagonist has died and went to the spirit world only to come back. No. This is a place deep within your own consciousness. Oh, so our consciousness is so connected that we're together. Deep within your minds. Cure him! You too. You have changed the future irrevocably. The future is truth. It is a thing that must not be changed. It is the true path that we must follow. And yet, I do wonder, if you have the determination and bravery to create a new destiny for yourself, then perhaps there is also a sort of truth in daring to face a different tomorrow. Perhaps there is still some worth in the Pokemon of this world. You too have proven that. I owe you my gratitude. I give you my thanks. Ah! I give you a jump scare. I like the art there. <gasps> because we came back. But where's everyone else? Muna's gang, Verizian, Amolga, Keldeo, Umbreon, Espeon? This is... the road that lies outside... Neon! We blacked out at the Glacial Palace, right? So how'd we get here? Hey! Everyone! Thank goodness! I can't believe the two of you aren't hurt! That's really... great, you know? And you all... thank goodness! But how did you all... Did you end up using the intercards to escape? Nope, the truth is, we'd hoped to use them, but there wasn't any time for that. Plus, we still had to worry about Muna and the others. There was no way we could get all of them into the Magna Gate in time. And besides, there's no way we were going to leave you guys and head home on our own. But just as we were standing around wondering what to do, the Glacier Palace started falling apart just like that. But what happened after that is a true mystery. Yeah, the next thing we knew, we were all back here in paradise. What? You were? Then it's the same as us! I feel like I had some kind of dream, and the next thing I noticed, I was here! I don't know how we all were saved, but what could have happened? It really is a mystery. I suppose it was Kiram. Kiram must have saved us. Me and everyone else. I'm sure even Muna and her gang. Kiram said at the end that he owed us. This must be his way of thanking us. Well, don't... Well, I don't really get it. But I guess all's well that ends well. Everybody seems to have made it out all right. I guess so. I suppose thinking about it isn't going to get me any answers. That's right. I may not be quite as carefree as Amolga, but, well... Shouldn't we basically be celebrating right now? I think someday we may understand how we were saved. As long as we don't forget how grateful we should be when that day comes. Yeah, you're probably right. What was that, Verizian? You trying to make me sound like some kind of carefree fool or something? Oh, and here I thought I was complimenting you. My, my, you two. When did you become such good friends? What? We, we're not friends or anything. We're fighting just like we always do, aren't we? Hmm, are you really? That tone somehow seems a little different than usual. I was just thinking the same thing. Mm-hmm. Amolga, did something perhaps happen between the two of you? N nothing at all! 
not a blessed thing! No way! Well, isn't it a delightful reaction? You really are quite an open book, aren't you, Amolga? <laughs> Neon, look! Tons sparse. And the rest of the team, too. Everyone came back all right. You really all, all right. <laughs> We're back, Dunsparce. We came back just like we said we would. No need to cry, Dunsparce. Didn't I tell you there wasn't anything to worry about? You did. But... When the Glacier Palace collapsed like that, I couldn't help worrying about you all. Well, yeah, even I didn't know what was going to happen then. But Neon and everyone turned out to be fine, so I guess we just have to call it an unexplained wonder, huh? That's it! Speaking of unexplained wonders, right after the Glacier Palace collapsed, the rainbows appeared! Rainbows? Also, that music back there, great. It's true! Amazing! They're as clear as day! What beautiful rainbows! T ton sparse! These rainbows, could they be? Yep! Heard you and the others called them the Rainbows of Hope! The Rainbows of Hope. Is that right? So those are the famous Rainbows of Hope! They've finally been revived. The rainbows that are said to rekindle the flame of hope in the hearts of all who see them. Heh, <laughs> looks like things have worked out pretty nice. The bitter cold was destroyed, the glacier palace crumbled to pieces, and now the rainbows of hope have reappeared. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's just no sense denying it. You're right, Emilga, sir. The world has been saved. Oh, I, I read Hydrogen as her, dear, because I'm an idiot. Ah, it's a monster! A Hydragon? That's right. I am Hydragon. It has been a while, hasn't it, Locke? But, but, Hydragon, you were... After Kirim froze you, he lashed out and you... You were shattered into a million pieces, right? Are you... A ghost? What? A g g ghost No, 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 no! I'm most definitely not a ghost or anything. No, I'm not a ghost. I'm the voice of life. The only thing Curum destroyed was my physical form. Even if my body is scattered on the wind, the voice of life will not simply disappear. If I disappeared, that would mean the whole world had been destroyed. <laughs> but more importantly, all of you here, thank you so very much. The world has been saved thanks to you all. <laughs> Neon, look! You two made it back! How wonderful that you're all right. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's so good to see you all alive and well. Hey, guys! You listening? Neon and the others are all back! What? Neon and the others? Yeah, they're up on the hill right now! All hail the returning heroes, you hear? We're gonna party hard tonight! Yeah! Whoa! Your lords and losses, I cannot thank you enough, but thank you. Oh, bless you. Oh, dry your eyes, her dear old boy. You've saved us all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Look, we tried our hardest too. Yeah. We were able to break the bitter cold because you were all standing behind us. We're the ones who should be thanking you all, really. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't believe in you guys, but the rainbows of hope. The rainbows of hope are back. It's all because of you guys. Thanks. <laughs> and that was how... The gratitude of the Pokemon poured down upon us without cease. No, it wasn't just the Pokemon. The gentle sunshine on our faces, the mountains and the rivers, even the clear sky above us, they all seemed to be thanking Neon and the rest of us that day. And that night, in honor of our new peace, we built a bonfire and a great celebration began.
tiny bonfire, all things. Thank goodness the world was saved, yep. Yes, I couldn't agree more. This is cool music. All right, I have a home in Loch Neon. Found it hard to breathe in the face of the crushing power of the bitter cold. But even all, but even all came in it and saved the world. Bless you, child. I'm sorry. I didn't believe in you guys when I should have. Me too. I was no better. Nah, none of you twerps have anything to feel bad about. I'm the one who... I didn't believe in them even though I was right there in paradise with them. I'm... I'm the worst of all you losers. Look, I'm so sorry, dude. I really am this time, unlike all those other times I said it. No, I'm definitely the worst of them all. No, I am. That's enough, everyone. But thanks anyway. <laughs> He's just eating all the apples. Everyone, everything is on the house tonight. Dig in and don't hold back. All right! You ain't a face I've seen around you before. Faces, I guess I should say. That's right. This is probably the first time I've imposed on you here in Post Town. Me, I don't care who you are. This is a day to party! Don't hold back on nothing! Please eat as much as you like. Is that right? Well, I suppose I'll just have to take you up on your kind words then. <laughs> this feels pretty good. Yeah, this is the best night ever. Also, I gotta say, I am so happy that we're actually seeing, like, the character aftermath of the adventure. It is what I wanted for Explorers. If we actually saw, like, everybody's reaction to, like, the main character's disappearance and, like, the reaction to the story. That's what I want out of this, and this is what we're getting in a way. Granted, the... Because <laughs> this is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, that thing still has to happen, but cheer times. Hmm. I can still remember when Locke and Neon first showed up in this town. I never would have thought mm, that those two would do so much for us. Never could have imagined it, hmm? I'm so glad I became the Assembler of Paradise, hmm? I'm mm, glad that I could support Neon and the rest of you. <laughs> Boom! What? Keldeo, you gambled on leaving those ender cards at the glacier with nothing more to go on than the slight chance someone might find them? That's right. When I was locked up in that Tower of Ice, there was some kind of commotion one day at the Glacier Palace. Since I was just a prisoner, I didn't get to find out what had happened. But it still made me feel a certain of one thing. Someone else had finally made it to the unexplored reaches of the Glacier Palace. And that was when I thought, if someone was clever enough to make it all the way to the Glacier Palace, then there might be just a chance it could work. Someone like that ought to notice even the tiniest detail. I didn't have much choice except to believe in such Pokemon and leave it up to them. I couldn't activate a Magna Gate from where I was locked inside the tower, but I could still make inner cards at least. I knew the Glacier Palace would end up airborne sooner or later. Waiting for the day in my tower, I made a set of inner cards that could cross the sky. And when the Glacier Palace finally did rise up in the sky, I took those inner cards and scattered them from my grated window. Unbelievable! How could you possibly bet on such a slim chance? If it had been me, I would have surely thought of a better way to escape. What? What? Aw, oh, I'm sorry. What was the best plan I could come up with? I didn't think he'd crumble that quickly under a bit of criticism. What a guy. But thanks to Espeon's intuition, even that slim chance was enough for us to find the cards, you know? Well, that is true. But it mostly just seems like another unexplained wonder. There were a lot of those things of wonders this time around. If Neon weren't here, we wouldn't have ever been able to destroy the bitter cold. And if everybody here hadn't come together like they did, then even Neon wouldn't have been enough. And if we hadn't found the inner cards that Keldeo made, we never would have even made it to the Glacier Palace in the first place. That's right. I saved the day, huh? Oh my, but wasn't it the two of us that had to save you, Keldeo? Uh, uh, that's right. I had to be saved. Psst. Hey, Verizian. Is Keldeo always like that? Shh. In a pinch, he's the best Pokemon in the world to have by your side. But the mood swings. Yes, unfortunately, they're also part of the same Keldeo I've always known. 
It's okay. You did a whole lot for us, Keldio. Yeah, I guess I did. Thanks, Verizian. At any rate, without Neon and Locke, really, if any single Pokemon from the team hadn't been there, we never would have succeeded. We wouldn't have been able to save this world. That's right. Tonight it really is thanks to the courage of everyone here and so many wondrous things happening in time. Everyone here is a star in this tale. Everyone here was a hero or heroine. That's what we're here to celebrate tonight. Let's all kick back and enjoy ourselves. And the moon's back! <sighs> I could use a break from all the excitement. Maybe I'll just go stargaze for a bit. May Locke be there too and they'll hang out under the stars. Not Hydrogen taking me away. Damn you! Neon. Hydrogen. Neon. Please allow me to express again my formal and sincere thanks to you. You listened to my request and granted my wish. You saved my world. And now, my dear Neon, your part in this world has come to an end. In short, well, I hate to be the one to have to say anything, but the long-term presence of a human in this world is not possible. The other two games, you bastard! It would create a distortion that would strain the very fabric of the universe. A distortion? What this means, Neon, is that I must send you back. Back to the human world. Go back to the human world? Ah, uh, right. So we were right. Saving this world means leaving it. Neon. This makes me so very sad. I seem to have grown quite attached to you, Neon. But I'm sorry. This is something that I cannot alter or change. I'm sure you must also have many regrets about this, Neon. Regrets, huh? My greatest regret has to be that one thoughtless moment. Neon, you... you'll probably go back to your own world, won't you? The human world? Will I? I hadn't really thought about it, but if I'm here in the Pokémon world to complete a specific task, then... I guess it makes sense that I would be sent back home afterwards. You... don't know either, huh? Hey, Neon? If you don't know what to do, I... I... I think you should stay here forever! What? Please, Neon! Just stay here with us forever, okay? Really? All right! I'm so relieved. Thanks, Neon. Without thinking, I promised Locke that I would stay with him forever. It seems like I'll be breaking that promise. It will happen tomorrow. Enveloped in brilliant light. You will be carried up into the sky. Just like the lights I once watched, from this very spot. Kiram told me the truth about them, didn't he? Those lights. And now it is finally my time to return. Surrounded by that light, I'll go back to my old world. The human world. There is one more painful truth that is my duty to impart. Once you are swallowed up in that light, Neon, all of your time here in the Pokemon world, and all that you did, I'm gonna lose my goddamn memories, you fuck. Will disappear from your memories of the Pokemon. I'm going to disappear from their memories! Oh! Fuck! Will disappear from the memories of the Pokemon remaining here. What? The Pokemon will... Everyone will... forget me? They'll forget all the memories we shared? Yes. I'm sorry. It really is terribly heartbreaking, and I'm 
so sorry. I am the voice of life, and so I will not forget you, Neon. But everyone else... <laughs> when I am surrounded by that light, everyone else will forget me. All our memories, all the time we've spent together, they will all disappear. It really hurts. Tomorrow, I will stay with you as far as I can along the way. <laughs> Would you like to say farewell, farewell to everyone tonight? I would, but I don't want to make them all sad right now. If I'm going to disappear from their memories and saying goodbye to Locke and everyone else tonight, which caused them pain for no reason, so I'll go without saying anything. God! You... You're not going to say goodbye? I see. No, it makes sense. You don't want to make your friends suffer. I understand. Then tomorrow morning, please, come here to the hill. We will set out together. They're going to find out some way. Locke is going to... Damn it. I was gonna, kind of hoping for like another... They are like went to bed. Locke talks and something comes out. Early the next morning. Uh, early the next morning. Locke. He's sleeping well. Locke. I'm sorry for leaving without a word. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't keep my promise. Thank you for all the things you've done for me. God! I suppose this is the last time I'll ever see this house. Gerder, we want, we want you to build us a house. What? Gerder, Timber, Timber and Quagsire too. Thanks, everybody. Everyone put their hearts into it. That's all that really matters. At any rate, this is going to be our new home! It seems so long ago now that we built this house. We've made so many memories here already. Thank you. And goodbye. You were a great home to Locke and me. Leave a frism! Leave a frism! Leave a frism, you dumb snake! God, the music. Hi, Trigun. Good morning, Neon. I suppose it's not surprising that there are few Pokemon awake at this hour. Now, once we depart, Neon, you will disappear from the memories of your friends. Are you sure you don't have any regrets? I see. Then, here we go. The light is right now. Is this the moment? Has everyone already forgotten me? Even Locke? But there's nothing I can do. I was summoned here because of Hydrogen's wish. And I succeeded in saving the world like I was supposed to. At least I was able to help everyone here. At least I was able to protect my friends. Shouldn't that be enough? God! Not even a goodbye? It's surprisingly... fast. When I watched the others from the hill, it hardly even looked like they were moving, but... Just 
not even a goodbye. Post Town looks pretty small now. It's been quite a while since we started rising. We're up pretty high already. But even with how small it looks now, I think I could still recognize every last Pokemon in Post Town. That's right. Hmm? What is it, Neon? You want to go see Paradise one last time? Of course, Neon. I have no objection. Let's go. They may not remember me, but maybe they can remember the light. Oh, I can see it. Paradise. Ah, it's Locke. And he's talking with Quagsire. It's just another normal day in paradise. Only this time I'm not a part of it. Locke is... He's looking up at us. He's not... He's not looking away. Everyone! But they're all supposed to have forgotten me! Right, that's it. They've just noticed the light. They aren't looking at me. But they're looking at one another now. I feel like we're still connected somehow. Even if they don't remember me. I'm glad that I got to see all their faces once more. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Locke. Are you ready to move on? Then off we go, Neon. God. Goodbye, Locke. Even if you forget, I will always remember. Always. I will never forget you. Thank you, Locke. Goodbye. Be happy. What a beautiful, flawless sky. If I recall, the sky was this perfect and blue when I first came here. Neon, look at that. So beautiful. It's the rainbows. The rainbows of hope. So the rainbows have appeared again today. I'm glad this will be my last sight of the Pokemon world. I'm glad I could see them. The rainbows of hope. Neon, I'm afraid this is as far as I can go. I truly owe you so much for what you have done, Neon. I can't even begin to imagine how I should thank you. I am overwhelmed by this great sense of gratitude toward you. Thank you, Neon. Thank you so very much. And finally, please take this. This is a frism? It belonged to Locke. This is Locke's frism? The truth is that last night during the celebration, Locke approached me, and he said that if the day ever came when you must return to the human world, Neon, that I was to give this to you. And then Locke handed me the frism that you now hold. I'm sure of it. This is the frism that was Locke's precious treasure. Why would he... Now I must take my leave. Neon, thank you so very, very much. Please, have a good life. Goodbye!
prism is white inside. There's something recorded in it. Neon warmed the frism. The frozen part of the frism began to produce sounds. Neon, can you hear me? Oh, that's, that's Locke's voice. Neon, if you are listening to my voice on this frism, then I guess that means the time has already come for you to leave our world. I know I told you before, but I've always been searching for something. What I wanted was someone to laugh with, someone to suffer with, even fight with. Someone I could trust so completely that it wouldn't matter if we did fight. A true friend. That's what I was searching for. And then I finally found one. And that was you, Neon. We we're true friends, you and me. You've been my dearest friend. And that's why I wanted us to stay together forever. But then I realized something. You're a human. That means you must have important people in the human world as well. And those people, they must be so worried about you right now, Neon. I don't want to make those people sad. So even if we have to say goodbye, I will watch you go with a smile. Even if we can't see each other anymore, I'll still be thinking of you every day. I will never forget you. I heard all about it from Hydragun. About the light that will carry you away. And about the way everyone will forget about you. Maybe that's what will happen. But even so, I won't ever forget you, Neon. L Locke. Come on. We've changed fate by now, haven't we? Our friendship isn't something that's going to disappear so easily. So no matter how great the distance is between us, wherever you are, whenever it is, I won't ever forget you, Neon. And I'm not the only one. Hey, Neon! You listening? Uh, Molga! They think we're just gonna forget you or something? Like that ever happen? Are you kidding me? I won't know. I know I won't ever forget you either. After all, Neon, you're my hero. Done, Sparse. Thank you, Neon. I won't be forgetting you a single moment. You've done so many good things for us. When I think of how much you've meant to us, there's just no way we'd forget. And even Verizian. Hey, Neon. You thought you could just sneak off without saying a word, huh? But we understand, Neon. That was just your way of trying to be kind. That's how much you care about everyone, isn't it, Neon? So we'll quietly watch you go without interfering. But please don't worry about a thing. We won't ever forget our sweet Neon. Umbreon. Espeon. Me too. I could never mm, forget you. I still remember mm, the first time you ever set foot in paradise, Neon. There's no way I'd ever forget that. Mm? If I do forget, then I... I... Boom! Quagsire. Neon, thank you for everything. I won't be forgetting a single moment. The same goes for all the post-towners. Right, everybody? Yeah! Swana and all the Pokemon from town. It's quite sad to say goodbye after you came all the way to our world, but we won't ever forget you, so... Neon, please remember us sometimes, too, okay? Neon, have a real good life, okay? If you need a house built, you know who to call! I'd go all the way to the human world for a friend like you, Neon. You guys. All of you. <laughs> Neon, did you hear all that? Everyone insists that they aren't going to forget you. So even if tomorrow comes, and that light comes to carry you away, it may seem like we all will lose our memories. But the truth is, even if we have to defy fate, we will not forget! Everyone remembers that you fought harder than all the rest of us, Neon. That's why we cannot forget. That's why there's no way we would forget. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Thank you for being one of us. Goodbye, Neon. Please have a good life.
Goodbye. Take care. <laughs> Locke. Even when you said you wanted me to stay. Even though I promised you. Please, Neon. Just stay here with us forever, okay? Really? All right! I'm so relieved. Thanks, Neon. But you already knew, didn't you? That I wouldn't be keeping that promise. That I would have to leave you someday. And in the end, when our eyes seemed to meet across the sky, those eyes... The way those eyes fixed on mine. I'm sure of it, Locke, everyone. You didn't forget about me. You remembered me, didn't you? You looked up at the light knowing it was me. To say goodbye. You even managed to overcome fate. To forget me. Locke still. Everyone still. They still remember me. Locke, my friends. <laughs> I'm crying. I am crying. God damn it. You bastards! I don't even know what to say. That was really, really good. I really liked that. I really liked that ending. I really liked that ending. In a way, it's almost like Rescue Team's ending, but a little bit better. A bit more emotional investment, a bit more emotional stakes. I really liked that. And again, the music that was playing all throughout was very, very good. Also, yeah, I just realized, this is like the one time, the first time that, like, the protagonist is the one that was, like, more emotionally devastated than everyone else. In Rescue Team, the player character was like, sorry, I have to go, bye. It was a bit more emotional than that, but still, it, the emotional devastation was mostly for everybody else. And then in the second game, once again... The player character kind of kept it toge together for the partner. While this time, it was the partner and all the important characters keeping it together for the player character. And I really liked that. Definitely felt earned. And, like, if there had to be a game like that where every single, like, character you ran into had to say a goodbye, this is the one! Because all of the characters were so important in this one. And I really, really liked that. I really, really like that. It is... And I think I even hear a bit of motifs of, like, uh... The past opening. Like, there. Kind of reminiscent of the other game's opening themes that were also incorporated into the credits a lot. I really, really liked this one. I really, really liked this one. Overall, I think this is the smoothest mystery dungeon game. Like, in a way... This is the one that I think focused on story the most. Because this is like the shorter one of them. Because again, I think Roundabout... I think Rescue Team took me the longest to beat the main story. 
Explorers, I think I did it in like eight or nine streams. I forget, it's been a while. Then this one's seven. And that's mostly because like, well, no, it was still would have taken me seven, roundabout. But I really like how they handled the story in this one. The fact that like everything really wound together to the point that the only thing that's kind of separate from the bitter cold story is Girder and fighting Girder to make him build our home in good faith. That was like the only thing that was kind of separate from the ongoing story of Muna, Kirim, the bitter cold and everything. And I kind of like that. In a way, this one feels the most story-like. <laughs> and this is just so good. <laughs> God, I'm teary-eyed. Fuck. It's not even me playing and I'm teary-eyed, says YouTube chat. Yeah. And in Twitch chat, I've been watching you on YouTube since I personally just learned about Mystery Dungeon and love your voice acting so much. Thank you for posting your VODs, Neon. And thank you for watching. Because this is such a good game. Gameplay-wise, this is the best Mystery Dungeon game so far. Leveling up, like, ability... Like, leveling up your moves and, like, the removal of hunger... The fact that story characters come with you on dungeons, that's super good. Super good. Gameplay-wise, super good. I do think that the gold bar exchange is a little kind of sadly overhyped. Then again, I didn't, didn't really engage with it much, so it could just be that I didn't understand its offerings until I just grabbed all the reviver seeds I could out of it. I liked the box smashing. The detours felt kind of tacked on a little bit. Mostly because I only ever went in once and the deluxe boxes weren't really that good. So it seems like you only get good stuff out of the deluxe boxes if you detour in late game dungeons, which sounds painful. And again, oddly enough, despite the fact that there are like fewer one-on-one -on -one moments between the player character and the partner character in this one, due to the fact that this is a shorter game, like roughly, I feel like there's more of a connection between the Gates to Infinity protagonist and partner here. It also helps that like, you're, you're building paradise. You're not like working at like Wigglytuff's guild and you're like super building something up and that's really, really cool. Like, the, like, uh, I just love it. <laughs> I'll give more thoughts if things, it's going to kick me to the main menu, aren't I? And then we'll have to continue to see what happens for the post game, huh? Goodbye, Neon. No matter how great the distance is between us, even if we never meet again, our hearts will always be together. I will always be with you in spirit. Forever and ever. The end. They could have just ended it there. Oh. You'll be returned to the main menu. So yeah, next time we'll have to see what the fucking post-game is like. Because I have no idea. I'm glad you had such a fantastic experience. We both share the same love for this game. I personally know nothing about the games before Gates to Infinity. I do have those uploaded as well. Especially Explorers of Sky recently, so if you want you can go watch those. Yeah, it's just super interesting, because, like, the rescue team partner feels a little wonky, primarily because of the pacing and simplicity of rescue team as a whole. Doesn't help that it ends with the partner going, hey, you can change leaders now, and now I shall wander away and become but a normal Pokemon. 
And then with explorers, like, you have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the partner, but, like, I don't know. There's just something about the writing in explorers that kind of muddles the, like, experience a little bit for some reason. But there's a lot of good one-on-one -on -one moments, especially, like, in the darkness of the future. Meanwhile, here, it feels like... A lot of, like, uh, while there were fewer one-on-one -on -one moments, the hero and the partner just feel like they have a good connection. I really, really wish that this game was longer and that there were more moments. Like, honestly, at the end there with Locke saying, like, ooh, I even wanted a friend that I could fight with because we were such good friends. We could do that. I wouldn't have minded if there was a bit more, like, variety of, like, uh, things like that. Like, uh, again... Considering that early on, well, early on, kind of in the middle, at some point, the game had the main character, had Snivy Neon, be like, worry about Locke a little bit? And Locke did confide in Snivy Neon in the middle of the night one time, saying that he had nobody, no family, no friends, and that's why he wanted to build Paradise to make a friend. And I think if the game was a little longer... It would have been cool and emotionally devastating if they slotted in, like, a small arc of Locke losing hope and the hero pulling Locke out of that. I think that would have been very powerful. <laughs> so once the post game is finished, what's next on the playlist? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I have a lot of games that I do want to play. I'll probably, uh, while we go through the, uh, like, build up and go through the post game, these next few, like, one or two streams, I'll try to think because we could continue the Poke Marathon with black and white. Or I could try and stream, like, Nier Automata. Or, like, many other kinds of games because I have a lot of games. That there could be. What happens after you press continue? I have no idea. And we're going to have to wait to see till next time. Because I do not really want to spoil it for myself. Back in Twitch chat. Uh, I've only played Gears Infinity and Super, but I was a tiny baby in the first few games, so I can't play it. I watch it, but I want to play too. And I hope you find a way to play them. There's always Yar Harin. Since there's no real official way to get them. Ha ha ha. But, personally, if you want to go do play the uh, older games, I would say maybe start with Rescue Team. And, uh, because Rescue Team is a simple experience, but still very emotionally impactful, at least to me. Like, just taking it at face value and gliding along, having a fun time with Rescue Team, it's a good experience. I would say maybe, like, uh... Be wary of the post game of Rescue Team. It is kind of clunky with only a few actual story important ish dungeons. But the few story important ish dungeons are pretty nice. And then Explores the Sky. I had a really good time with that. Explores the Sky was really, really good. The music in Explores the Sky is so good, especially a certain motif. But this game, this game is super, super good. Like, honestly, a part of me almost wants to jump right into Super Mystery Dungeon, but I want to take a small break so I don't, like, uh, burn myself out on Mystery Dungeon so that I can have a super-duper good time. But, yeah. This is very, very nice. I can understand, like, some of the criticisms people, like, levied at it. But I do think that people were too harsh. Because I understand the limited starter, like, selection. Really, the removal of the personality quiz isn't that big of a deal, again, because small, smaller starter pool. The gameplay is so well done in this one. It is so well done with a good gameplay loop. Again, the only real thing I think I have to complain about is I want more. I want more. It's so, so good. Post Town is probably the best town. 
this, I think this one's ending is the most devastating to me. I think it's the most mo emotionally impactful because, like, there are so many characters that you do connect with. And there are so many, like... And, like, they do let you kind of stew in it, which I like. Like the ending. I won't say anything about Super since you deserve to have fun. Thank you for telling me your warnings. <laughs> I can't wait, because I do remember playing a little bit of Super a long, long time ago, but then Brain, and so I stopped playing. But I remember, like, the Ancient Burrow being a good song, and, like, the Partner's Music Box was really, really good. I personally cried for 20 minutes when I played this game, like, crying to the point where my head hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, why, again, the only reason why I didn't, like, actually break down crying as hard is because I was doing the voices, but as I was doing it, my vision was going cloudy and blurry because tears were building up in my eyes. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like this. I, I'm not sure if it topples explorers for me, but it comes damn close. It comes so close. Because I think the reason Explorers still might be top for me is because, I don't know, it's just hard to feel. Because I don't think it's nostalgia because I never, I didn't remember too, too much about Explorers until I replayed it. It's just that, I think it's because while the story of Gates to Infinity is more condensed. The emotional core of Explorers was condensed around, like, a few key players and a few key things that really, really worked. And plus, like, I don't know. I also think that it helped with Explorers because it was a bit longer... So you had, like, a bit more time with those characters, even if you didn't have, like, as much dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with the characters like you do in Explorers. <laughs> I would have the highest expectations of Explorers ever. Like, I'm not sure how high you should have for Explorers. Because, like, I really enjoy it, but I'm not sure. Like, going from... Gates to Infinity and Super down to Rescue Team and Explorers, it's a very different experience. Like, no leveling moves, but your basic attack grows with you as kind of a compensation. But yeah, and also gummies instead of, like, the boxes giving you skills. It's much easier to get team skills in this game than it is to raise your IQ to get gummy points. Oh, you'll enjoy Super a lot. Oh, boy. Trust me when I say this. Super Mystery Dungeon will tug at your heartstrings. I hope so. But also the fact that, like, I just realized. I just realized something. I just realized. They committed. The hero did not return. In... We'll have to see for the post-game... Because normally, eh. Because I just realized the credits ended and the hero didn't return. And Hydragon, the voice of life, said that human... Well, again, Hydragon being the voice of life saying, Oh, a human can't be in this world for permanently because distortions... Bitch. Lie. Eat, chip, and steal. Bye. I can't wait to see what the post game has to offer. Again, I was uh, told that it's about one to two streams worth of post game content, so we'll have to see. We will have to see. <laughs> it better make me cry more. I think it has really good emotional moments. It made me tear up uh, uh, at very good, like Explorers made me tear up at very key moments a lot, so I think it should. Honest to God, I'm horrible at video games. I just spam items. I'm just worried. You can always grind. Level grind, item grind. Reviver seeds are easier to come by in Explorers and Rescue Team. 
happy. I really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed this. It had very good vibes to it. I think that the music felt more cohesive in this game compared to previous games. I still think that the Time Gear motif from, like, uh, Explorers is some of the best music from these games. But the many, many different little story moment songs that were put in were really, really good. They didn't punch as hard as, like, In the Hands of Fate through the Sea of Time and Time Gear. But the songs in this game were really, really good. And again, I'm so happy of what they did with this. It was such a breath of fresh air after the first two games, which I think is important. Because this was like four years after Explorers of Sky came out that they made this for the 3DS. And I think they did a really good job. Like how they condensed the story so everything really tied in. There's no real perfect Apple incident. There's no wandering around for in Rescue Team. The story is quick, concise, and, like, almost feels like it could be a movie. Like a miniseries, at least. And have it be very emotionally satisfying. You have a lot of meat to work on there. But, yeah, like, I love the changes to the gameplay. I love how they incorporated story-important characters to come along with you on dungeon runs. I loved the mechanic of going out on, like, expeditions, but then being able to do companion mode to come back, even though I never used that, because I was like, story, 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 story. Story, 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 story. That is me. Story. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I think we can agree just all Mystery Dungeon games are great. No infighting. The only ones that I'm hesitant on are the Japan-only WiiWare ones. I have heard nothing about them. Except that they are very, very, very simplistic compared to the other games. And yes, next time we stream, it should be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time as I'm trying to stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard. And next time we will see... Where the hell the game goes from here? For all we know, Snivy Neon is gone forever. And we'll just follow Lock and Co. Down a little thing. Or maybe maybe the post-game builds up to the return of Snivy Neon. I think that would be a cool emotional mini-arc. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like... I also... Oh! One cool thing that I do like, the protagonist talks in this and had so many moments of actually talking with people. Sure, there was the classic, oh, thoughts in parentheses, turn to partner and relay information, but there were actual moments where the protagonist actually talked out loud in universe, which I guess is kind of balanced out by the fact that the part that the player character didn't get a goodbye monologue like the other games. <laughs> but I loved this. This is better than Rescue Team for me because Rescue Team is basic. It is a nice, simple dish. But I, yeah, I don't think it beats Explorers. Explorers just has something to it that I can't really explain. But this, this comes damn close because of how well it's just done. The gameplay is very streamlined compared to rescue, uh, like compared to Rescue Team and Explorers. Literally, the only thing that I think would have made the gameplay almost perfect is if you could choose like a dungeon from the duty board and select all the missions you want to do in that dungeon rather than choose one mission and go. That's literally it. <laughs> Let's see, what other... Again, the characters were really nice. And I do enjoy that, like, pretty much most of the characters had, like, a defining key moment to them. You didn't really have as many times where the characters could just be, like, characters goofing off, kind of like uh, Amolga playing with the Frisms. But that was a nice scene. But I do enjoy... 
that all the characters had important, like, story moments, even if it was just Amolga, and, or no, not Amolga, but if it was just Dunsparce and Verizian stargazing for a little bit. I think that even just, like, a simple little kind of story-important moment like that is very nice. <laughs> well, technically, uh, Rescue Team is Gen 3, <laughs> not Gen 1. Although you guess you could say it's Gen 1 of the of the Mystery Dungeon games, but we don't really measure it like that. But yeah, I love this. This is a close second favorite Mystery Dungeon game for me. So we'll have to wait and see what Super lines up being. Will it fall behind GTI? Will it be just in front? Or will it pull ahead and smash away explores grasp of things? <laughs> Dang, is it I just see Gen 1 on the cover art? Is there not a Torchic on the cover art? I forget. Of like, I think for Darkness. Nah. Oh no, not Darkness, but a uh, Red Team. Red Rescue Team. Blah. I do like that do little thing with like uh, the Rescue Team's cover art where Blue has the team looking down into a hole and then Red Rescue Team has another team down in the hole. I like that. Super, <laughs> Super is best because it's named Super. It is kind of like the most, like the least personality out of all the naming conventions. Although I just realized, Gates, I, well, I guess Magna Gates, but we didn't really go through Infinity, now did we? Hmm. But I guess I'll stop rambling because we've been going for a decent bit. But I loved this. I really, really liked it. I loved how the intro was far more personable and, like, baked into the story. We fall from this, like, we look into a, a, the glowiness to see ourselves and select our form, we fall through the sky and blurrily see our partner. I do think it's a kind of a shame that we didn't get as many dungeon overworlds. I do think that's a little bit of a shame. It was probably something that they wanted to do more of, but they probably ran out of development time to really put overworlds in for a lot of dungeons. In fact, I think only a handful of the dungeons even have... Like, a ha only a handful of the early dungeons have overworld puzzles. Like, there's the tutorial dungeon where you, like, walk, smash down a tree, and that's basically it. Then there was uh, the place where we rescued Dunsparce from, where we had to go and free the logs. And then there was that other place uh, where we went to fight uh, Girder. I believe, and we had to raise up the little platforms. All the other, like, overworld dungeon places were just walk down path and exit. <laughs> Neon, I'm genuinely happy that you're one of the few people who say positives about this game. There's barely anyone who isn't just bashing it. And I don't see, like, much that is worth bashing in this game. Like, af like I came from... Like, I played Explorers of Sky, and then played Platinum, and then pl just played Gates to Infinity. So I just, I don't see much that, like, there is to complain about. There's so many good things. Traps break when you, when you first activate them. Your moves level up in lieu of your basic attack leveling up with you. The characters are, like, very good. The story is just more concise. Like, again, the only negative is the fact you can only take one mission with you into a dungeon. And even then, the, gang, the game is designed around that. <laughs> I'm feeling embarrassed I cried so much. Wow, that's just a good sign of a good game. I was thinking, dang, am I that sensitive? I think it's because it's a good game. Good story. But yeah, personally, I think the, like, trimmed-down starter selection is understandable because it's the first 3D Mystery Dungeon game that they made for the 3DS. And again, that with the lesson selection, it didn't make sense to have a personality quiz. And even then, most people who enjoy the personality quiz probably cheat the thing anyway to get the Pokemon they want. 
and then, like, uh, the opening is cool, the gameplay is streamlined, the characters are really good, the story is really good. This one probably has the best, most solid theming out of all the games that I've played. This is a really solid entry. I think the I think the main reason that people bashed it, at least when it first came out, because I feel like a lot more people have come around on it from what I vaguely remember hearing uh, in recent years, but, like, I think the reason people bashed it when it first came out is they were comparing it to Explorers of Sky, which I think is really unfair. Because Explorers of Sky technically had two different dig Mystery Dungeon games to build on. It had assets and coding from Rescue Team to build on. And then technically it's the third version of the Explorers games because there was Explorers of Darkness and Explorers of Time. So it was able to be the third version with more post-game, the special episodes and everything. Of course, Explorers of Sky is going to technically be the best in terms of content because it had so much they could reuse. <laughs> People who cheat the quiz are the same who tried to be INFJ through the uh, Myers-Briggs test. I don't think I've ever taken the Myers-Briggs test. Plus, I think it's like uses kind of icky, icky, I th weird like, philosophical things on it. I don't know. All I remember hearing is that the Myers-Briggs is a little weird. But yeah, it makes sense why a lot of people would still prefer Explorers of Sky, but that's because it already, like, it has so much to it. I could also see some people not liking the 3D art style of it, but I personally really enjoy it. I do still kind of... I don't know... The 3D art of Gates to Infinity and the pixel art of Explorers of Sky and Rescue Team. Like, they both have their, their ups and downs. Because, like, there was a lot of really good pixel art in Explorers of Sky. But then with, like, this, the overall art, super good. I, and I do kind of miss that there weren't, like, episodes like Explorers of Sky, but again, I didn't really notice it except for, like, once. And I think that was at, like, the title screen of, like, showing a frism as we were going to, like, the Glacial Palace, I think, which, comes to think of it, kind of feels out of place all of a sudden. Hmm. Yes, and person tasks don't matter anyway. You're just you. I think there's, like, some merit to some level of personality test, but, like... People, like, go too serious on it. People are weird. You know, like, even the IQ test isn't, like, a full proper thing that's solid. It's just that people surround it for some reason. Like, oh, yes, the IQ tests. It's a rough estimate, but that's all it is, really. An estimate. Ba -ba -ba. Well, let me try to bring my thoughts in so we can end stream. This is a very good game. Again, better than Rescue Team, almost. It is knocking on Explorers of Sky's door, if you ask me. The only things, like literally the only thing keeping it from really knocking Explorers of Sky off is if it had more story and more character moments. If it just was expanded. If there was just more of it. I think it would win, because this is a really, really good game. And it is a solid beginning to, like, the 3DS Mystery Dungeon games, the two that there are. To be fair, there was also two DS games. And sadly, there was only one Switch game, which was a remake. Sadness. But, yeah, the gameplay, best in the series so far. The characters, it's hard to say, because when it comes to... It's hard to qualify, like, a Molga, Verizian, Espeon, and Umbreon, because in a way, they're secondary characters, but they're also so important. They are more than what the guild was in Explorers. 
but they're not quite protagonists. They're not secondary characters, but they're not main characters. It's weird, but they're so good. I want to play the remake, but it costs half a hundred dollars. Yeah. Luckily, the... I don't know, because I think they did bring over a lot of, like, uh, GTI and Super's, like, improvements to Rescue Team DX. But if you want to play Explorers of Sky anyway, I would say begin with, like, Blue Rescue Team, Yar Har, <laughs> with, on the DS. So that you know, like, what Explorers of Sky is, like, gameplay-wise will initially be like. Because the main story of Rescue Team is very forgiving. The post-game is a nightmare. <laughs> but back to Gates to Infinity. Loved this. Loved this. Uh, the only thing I wish for was more of the character stuff. Who knows? Maybe we'll get tons of character stuff in the post-game. <laughs> Maybe it'll just be eight hours of the characters just talking to each other. And I would enjoy that immensely. I love Quagsire. Scraggy was a funny little guy. The shops were very nice. I do miss having a bank and, like, Mama Kangaskhan as the item, like, item box holder. I understand why they got rid of, like, Pokemon manning the bank and manning the item box. And just condensed it into, like, a literal item box that you can just hold, like, go to and do everything. But I miss the personality of Mama Kangaskhan. Like, I can kind of understand. Just turn Mama Kangaskhan into the bank and item holder. I think that would have been a good good thing. V-Wheel! I didn't really use the V-Wheel at all. I just kind of ignored the V-Wave mechanic entirely. <laughs> I, I, I don't really do strategy. I just take big stick beat enemy with. And again, I didn't even use a single reviver seed against the bosses. Go Lurks using Magnitude? I use Reviver Seeds. Muna's Gang? Kirim the Bitter Cold? Not a one. Not a one. If only because I brought in a shit ton of Orin Berries, but still. <laughs> but this was fun. I love this. This is great. Honestly, I think this might be the most replayable Mystery Dungeon game so far. The story is concise, the gameplay is refined, the characters are involved and in depth. I love it. <laughs> My guy, I use 10 reviver seeds for each battle. I guess I'm just that much of a pro gamer. <laughs> I am an alpha gamer. Ha <laughs> ha But also I do like that like uh, you can use the orbs in boss battles in this one. Even though, like, they're usually immune to, like, orbs that affect them, you can use buff orbs in the boss fights, which is super good. Also, that's a little warning. The, the DS games, Rescue Team and Explorers, you can't use orbs in boss fights. And even then, I usually forgot because I'm like, oh, hey, I'm in a tough fight. I can use an orb now. A mysterious power. Stop that from working. Oh, yeah, it's a boss fight. That's why it's a tough battle. <laughs> But yeah, that'll be it because I'll just ramble on about the same things over and over again. But I love this. Girder, like, again, I think this Mystery Dungeon game had the best, like, core to it. It was, it is the smoothest package. The emotional core, the theming, the characters, the story, the gameplay. It is all smooth and nice. So even though, like, Explores the Sky is still rougher, does a few things worse. The characters, I think, aren't as good as Gates to Infinity. But there's just something about Explorers that still keeps it up there. Could be nostalgia entirely. I don't think it is. But there's just something about Explorers. I don't know. I feel special. Maybe that's just it. <laughs> Maybe I have recursive nostalgia through Rescue Team for it. <laughs> but, yeah. More people need to give Gates to Infinity a, a fair shot. Because it is good. It is very, 
very good. And I can't wait to see what the post game has in store for me. I hope it annihilates me even more emo emotionally in the post game. And then I have no idea what we'll do afterwards. Maybe near Automata, maybe a different RPG. Like who knows? Maybe I'll maybe maybe I'll jump back into Breath of the Wild. I'll have to look through my game collection and decide. But something. <laughs> Apparently, I said something that's applicable to that's what she said. I personally can't have nostalgia because I was three when the game came out. Ah, <laughs> uh, God, I am old and time marches on despite being an illusion. But yes, Gates to Infinity is fantastic. And I'm, I recommend that people should play it. Give it another chance. Because it is a worthy sequel to Explorers of Sky. And not to mention the cutscenes. It has good cutscenes. That is one thing that the pixel art style of Rescue Team and Explorers could never do. And is have super dynamic cutscenes to tell the story. I think that's also partly why the story might be so, well, storyful in this one. Because they can have these in-depth cutscenes much more. There is a charm to, like, Explorer's cutscenes, especially in, like, the special episodes. But still, they really took advantage of this being a 3D game, and I love it. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree that has links to all that I do. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. It has links to my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. I swear, I'm trying to make edited content for it, but brain. As well as my Twitch and YouTube streaming channels, and all of these streams ending up on my Neon Icy Games YouTube streaming channel. I also draw art, like my little character in the corner. So if you want to see art that I post, like my uh, Explorers team, my GTI team, the various other Pokemon art, because I've been drawing lots of Pokemon lately, uh, you can find links to my Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, all over the place things through my link tree. And if you want to read some stories that I'm writing, because I have like over 22 Mystery Dungeon stories alone in my head, uh... You can find links to two sites that I post my writing to as well. And then if you want to be super, super generous, if you're affluent and a rich billionaire and want to throw a dollary do my way, my Patreon is a little tipping jaw that you can throw dollary do's my way any day to brighten up my hope. <laughs> Send a dollar like it's a rainbow of hope to destroy my bitter cold. Haha. Uh -huh. But yes... Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. Bye-bye.